What? What? Patty's kitchen? Whose kitchen? Uh, Breach, do you think that people will turn on Metzen if the story doesn't improve and start blaming him as a scapegoat? Uh, I think Metzen would have to fail phenomenally uh, in order for the people to turn against Metzen. I think that would have to be a disaster. But, um... It would have to be extremely bad. I, I don't think that, given what we've seen so far... Honestly, I have really good faith in World of Warcraft's Blizzard team. I'm being careful here not to say Blizzard, because I don't feel that way. But the World of Warcraft Blizzard team right now is on fire and doing extremely well. Uh, and I think that's going to continue. So, I, I, I have a high degree of confidence in the World Soul Saga. Like, genuinely, I do. Um... I think my personal Mike, gut feeling did you right hear now. About Peter fighting for the rights of animals on carousels. No, that's odd. Um, I think Holly is the best thing that's happened to World of Warcraft in a long time. I think a lot of the the benefit of uh, what's happened with Dra uh, Dragonflight and probably the World Soul Saga is Holly and John. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Holly, uh, like, you don't have to spend much time with Holly to realize how much she gives a fuck and that she's a fan of the game. Like, I think uh, if Holly stick, I would be more upset. Like, Danu's leaving. Okay, Metzen's back. Even, I am. I would be way more concerned with Holly leaving than Metzen leaving. That would be a big concern for me. If Holly leaves, uh, which she might do because she's definitely proved her value in the industry. Uh, so I could definitely see Holly being poached from somewhere uh i would be way more concerned at holly leaving than anything else uh seems wicked smart too knows players brains holly's a gamer she's always been a gamer like she really gives a fuck um oh what did you get two-handed sword uh maybe uh uh seven six strength uh yeah slightly nah uh nothing huge <laughs> no, I don't create fake DPS moyers from months ago. Uh, no. Uh, will the girl get a tab art? I don't know. Holly has a lot of passion, and she... Uh, the best thing about Holly is she seems able, like some people just seem can't do in the industry, is to predict what players' response is going to be. Which is huge. Like, being able to do that is absolutely huge. Like, to know that this is a bad idea. Like, you know when we spoke to Josh? Um... When I got to sit with Law, Josh, um, after his time at Blizzard. And how awkward it is for people like him who have that mindset as well. To be like, I, we know from the start this is going to fucking suck. And it's awful as somebody who has to communicate with the general public. That we know 100% that this thing that they're doing is going to suck. Badly. I don't know what that was. A coin of ancestry. Hmm. Uh, and Holly seems to also get that when they're making decisions. It's like, yeah, that's just going to suck. Like, people aren't going to like that. It's not going to work. So, yeah, Holly is... Um, Holly's a really big deal in my eyes, from what I, uh, from what I can believe that's working. <laughs> no, I don't do events in World of Warcraft. I never have. <clears throat> Getting cranky. Easy clap. Uh, <laughs> hope you have a blast. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, the Shadowlands, man. <sighs> Let me ask you guys a question. I've told you guys that other companies look at Shadowlands like a case study, right? What is your takeaway about what the problem with Shadowlands actually was? Because I don't think we're on the same page. What do you think the main takeaway is, for, certainly for the other companies look at, as to what the problem with Shadowlands was? Like, if I was to say, this is a case study in what not to do, which is what Shadowlands is now. What is it that the companies look at, genuinely, from a design perspective, that was the problem with Shadowlands? Ignoring feedback, no. All right, be more specific. It is involving covenants, but what specifically is the problem? Borrowed power? No. System story? No. No. Disconnected zone? Close. Meaningful choice? Um, 
Okay, that, that's close enough to it, like Nix has said. The actual main issue with Shadowlands design is amongst, like, Torghast bad, story bad, whatever. Yeah, that's true, but, like, uh, it's not the first time we've had a bad system in World of Warcraft or the story's not been very good. The main thing that was the biggest problem with Shadowlands, <laughs> from a design perspective, that other companies look at, uh, is restricting player choice in a power fantasy game. What an abominably stupid thing to do. Like, absolutely insane is to force your players in a game of choice, uh, which is choice is how you gear your character, how you spec your character and do whatever, and then explain to them that they will have to make choices that make their character in a power fantasy game inferior and be locked into it. And you can look at that in multiple... That, that branches into so many different things, such as like trying to force players in an RPG and certainly a power fantasy game to play in a very certain way. Like, both those ideas are so contradictory, it's 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 almost baffling that it got as far as it did, despite, you know, people crying from the rooftops uh, that this should not happen. And it's not even something that affects everybody, right? Because we saw that part of the audience, which was like, oh, uh, well, lol, lol, lol uh, this, this covenant is best for me anyway, so lol at you uh, and everybody else who sucks. But it affected so many people, even people who are like, I enjoy PvP and PvE. I enjoy two aspects of your game and now I'm being punished for it because I have to lock my character into a spell that is either mediocre at both or good in one and bad in another. How is that fun? How is that interesting? How is that in any way beneficial to the general ecosystem of your players uh, is to have people making those kinds of choices? those choices right like that's just it's absurdity to the extreme <clears throat> yeah you want to choose a, and, and then because if that that one choice like ignore the story ignore torgast ignore all that those are bad things for sure but break down that one design choice of the main feature of your game and how it affected everybody if you were a role player some people felt they couldn't choose the faction that associated with them because the power was garbage. If you enjoyed this part of the game, if you wanted to play a shaman, so some days you were enhancement, some days you were elemental, and they weren't balanced, so they were all over the place. Some people had dead ones. Some people like paladins. It's like, I heal in raids, but I like to farm the world as ret, and yeah, I'd like to be as strong as I can be when I do those things outside of acquiring gear, which is the game. World of Warcraft is about acquiring gear. And you're fucking me over. Like, it was such a poisonous, poisonous uh, decision that it baffles me to the ends of Earth that it happened. Uh, I need to get moving while we're talking. What's the next zone? Alliance. I don't play Alliance. Where do we go after here? Where's the level 25 zone? Are we going to Redridge? Is Redridge 25? Uh, Ashenvale. Really? Didn't we already do stuff in Ashenvale? All right, let's head down to Ashenvale. I'm down for that. Uh, let's go. Uh, oh, let's go to Duskwood. I like Duskwood. Yeah, yeah, Duskwood's good fun. Let's go there. I like that zone. Let's let's do some choices that are fun. Uh, I'm down for Duskwood. Duskwood I like. Um, Duskwood's such a fun zone. It's also the first zone in World of Warcraft that legitimately made me nervous because it's the first time you're in like a potentially get ganked zone like I, I remember standing on the bridge and being like scared to death <laughs> isn't that the case with races as well uh not anymore the, um it shouldn't be at all i agree with you like races the fact that build of warcraft still hasn't made the races power agnostic is baffling it really does baffle me and i suspect probably correctly it's because people spend so much money race swapping for powers that it's literally financially stupid for blizzard to do do that um so they don't do it <laughs> simple as that uh as simple as that i would in fact i would like to see i would i would like to ask echo and liquid and method this is what does the actual cost look like when approaching the race to world first of all the race changes those guys do it's very strange to me because how much is a race change now? It's like twenty five pounds, something like that. Um, when I hear discussions of like we just all go tour and la la la, we win, and that it's that's like <laughs> thousands. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I'm sure Max is done. That's right. It's money equals fun nodders. Yeah, just from those teams. Uh, yeah, because if it's better and it's race world first, they'll all do it. Yeah, like 20 quid. So it's it's like people just going out and buying a dozen or th copies of the game or something. It's crazy. And that's just like on a whim that they will go and do that with no issues. And, it's multi and then that reverberates so hard through the player base. And suddenly you see... I would actually be curious. Can we see on um, Raider.io the races of all the people? Are they all playing the same race? Not only spec, but race. Uh, let me try to browse it here in case the boat comes and I can bring it up. Because uh, the competitive side of the game will change race on a whim. Shit, dude, in my guilds, I had people who race changed multiple times per raid. I remember Chris in particular, not Chris who works here, but uh, a friend of mine called Chris. He would, I, I remember him changing race four times in a single raid because he just wasn't happy with how his new shoulders looked. So he just kept swapping race like uh, through the raid. Yeah, he got some new shoulders that night. He, he got some new shoulders and he just didn't like how they looked on his character. So he just kept swapping race like throughout the raid. <laughs> it was bizarre. Uh, all run leaderboards. Uh, uh, it doesn't say race at least at a glance. Shadow Priest. Vengeance DH. Resto Druid. Shadow Priest. Rep Paladin. Fire Mage. If I click on them, it probably tells me, though, right? Vengeance, Demon Hunter. Well, they'll, they'll be Blood Elves, obviously. Um, what are the mages playing? Dwarf Fire Mage from that team. Dwarf Fire Mage from the second team. Dwarf Fire Mage on the third team. <laughs> Fourth team. Dwarf Fire Mage. Okay. Uh, do we have any guesses as to what the fifth team might be running? They also have a fire mage. I, uh, it's a dwarf fire mage. Yeah, it's a dwarf fire mage. Uh, going to team six. Let's roll the dice on this one, guys. It is, it's a dwarf fire mage. It, uh, all, the top six, all dwarf fire mages. How low can we go until we see something else? All right, here's number seven. Dwarf fire mage. Okay. I don't want to get dropped off this boat. I'll, I'll put it on the screen in a sec because we've got a flight point to do after this. Right, going for number eight. Crims is a dwarf fire mage. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying here? Is when people find the absolute meta meta. Our sex of fat shark, yes. Dwarf fire mage. Yeah, I know you're all shocked and stunned at this point. Dwarf fire mage. What about shadow priests? What are they playing? Sleepy puppy is night elf disc priest. Agile, Night Elf, Dis Priest. I know I said Shadow, but there seems to be a mix of Dis and Shadow um, Priests. Uh, Chinese, or Taiwan, Night Elf, Discipline Priest. Okay. <laughs> what about Shadow? Kia, Night Elf, Shadow Priest. <laughs> Lucid, Night Elf, Shadow Priest. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Jesus. Night Elf Shadow Priest. Okay. I'm definitely spotting a trend here. I don't know if you guys are seeing it too. I'm guessing all the druids are Night Elves as well. Because the druid is Night Elf Resto Druid. Yep. Yeah. So as you can see, the meta makes a lot of money for Blizzard. A hell of a lot of money. A hell of a lot of money. And uh, unlikely they're going to change it. What in game chat to Dodo World? What? Uh, oh, yeah, I can invite people to the guild. Sure, dude. Give me a sec. Uh, I don't see any rogues at the moment. Hold on. Whoop. Shroopsy. Got you, brother. Uh, right, let's go to flight point. Can we fly to... I want to go to Duskwood. Yeah, I think we can. 
to our fire mage. Imagine where my game is made to make fun, not money. Uh, I mean, both is the ideal. There's nothing wrong with making a profitably good game. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Lurking way. Thank you for the 29 months. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, no, this is Season of Discovery Season 2, baby. Started last night. Runes are plenty. I need to change my setup probably as well. Duskwood! There we go. Alright, so there is some variation at the top teams. We've got monks coming in. Augy boys. Uh, still pretty dominant there, but it looks relatively set in stone at the top. Right, there's a rogue. So a rogue is dwarf rogue. Double rogue. Dwarf. Glad dwarf. to see the office looking great <laughs> in the background. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. JPC. Dwarf. Yep. Dwarf, Night Elf, Master Race. And then check it next season. Uh, they'll all be all swapped over again. I don't know. They're taking some inspiration from Season of Discovery for whatever this 10.2.6 patch is. I'm very curious as to what it's going to be. Very curious. Uh, a lot, apparently a lot of the runes haven't been found. Bex put this morning. Because Bex is... Uh, so you guys know, Bex um, is attempting to do riddle sheets for all the runes. So if you're not wanting to be like, just wowhead it or whatever and just find the answer... Uh, Bex, as they're found, is going to be putting together clue sheets for people to discover their own. All right? So we are working on that, all right? I should put a tweet out about that. Um, Clue sheets for Season of Discovery 2. They release as they are found. Uh, if you aren't um, interested in just Googling the locations and want some adventure... We will have them for you. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Chris wanted to make it into an add-on. Well, that's uh, that's a big piece of work. <laughs> Do you think those people will be overhyped? Not getting that they made up their mind and bitch and moan about all the 10.26? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt. There's no doubt 10.2.6 could live up to the ideas that are generated in the brain. There is zero chance of that happening. It's There's just too many possibilities. Yeah, we call it add on the same thing. Um, yeah, there's zero chance of that. Absolutely zero chance of that. There's no way. I could say for what I believe it's going to be, it's never going to be as good as I believe it's going to be. But I'm excited to find out what it is. I am telling myself not to be disappointed when it actually arrives. Don't be disappointed. It's That's unnecessary. Don't be disappointed. They're trying something new. And they're probably trying out some new tech that they're going to use in War Within. So uh, I'll wait. It's going to be... We don't really know what it's going to be. They've teased us that it's probably going to be bumpy because they're not PTR testing whatever it is. Um... But they, it's going to be temporary, from what we can tell. It's going to be level agnostic. So it doesn't matter if you've not even played retail in forever. It shouldn't matter. And you don't even have a like capped character in Dragonflight. Uh, that shouldn't matter. So whether it's going to be an event realm or something that you can queue for. Oh, hold on. Someone at the door.
Perfect. We have arrived. Wonder bar. Right, give me some jams. Jam me up, baby. I want to get jammed. Give me a Jeremy jam. Put me back on deck. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be an event realm or whatever. Oh, quest for days. Let's ditch all these. Uh, we'll keep the raid quest, but let's abandon this nonsense. Man, playing some WoW. This is going to be a fun, chill stream where I get to talk to you guys. I like that. Done a lot of blind play recently. I don't get to talk to you guys enough. I do like shooting the shit. All right, cool. Uh, you don't want to talk? No, no chat interaction. Don't want chat interaction. Mark Red, thank you for the 44 months. Dimity, thank you for the 28. Ice Light, thank you for the 4. Concealment, thank you for the 73. You guys are wonderful, man. Admits to being blind. Well, we've got another semi-blind playthrough coming up uh, in the near future. Which is fine. No talk, only quiet and focus on quest. What is Ratopia? It's some fucking rat game that the rat people want. I don't know. Either way, I'd like to get a sub-zub-zup. Sub-zup. Make sure our staff are taken care of. It's been, I tell you what's been really nice, though, is uh, Bex's work getting recognized, because most of her work is background stuff, but... Uh, it's nice to see, like, the TDP channel on YouTube uh, is uh, doing really nicely. Uh, so, GG's to Bex over there. But I saw on Twitter people, like, being like, oh, God, it's so clear you guys are back in the office. Videos dropping left and right. Perfect. Yeah, big shout-outs to those of you. Um, so, if you're not aware, we... Uh, we, uh, for algorithm purposes more than anything is uh, our main channel is bigger big produce videos which usually Chris's work and uh, our daily stuff which I like making is over on the TDP channel now on YouTube uh, so daily content is over there you daily YouTube content did you win the skull and bones dude we raised 20,000 pounds yesterday for uh, special effects charity what a great night what a great pair of girls uh, that we, we got to play that with as well. Jam. Holy shit! Tag walks in! Like the fucking game! Dude, thank you so, so much. That is wide walking into the room. Wow, Targ. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Wide walks in. It's all about the game, Just a chill 100 subs, man. Wow, that's crazy. You will have the game. I can tell you Chris is working on... I don't know if we could do it because no one's ever done it before on Twitch. Uh, we're trying to work on a way to have specific music play for certain people. <laughs> I think it'll be dope. I want wrestling music for certain people who we know have been uh, very generous to the channel over the years. So, <laughs> I've, I've avoided it for years. The biggest idea I ever wanted to do with Twitch subs was that we would record a story. Right? Oh, these are undead. I can't even make them bleed. Oh, God. What spec are we playing? Are we playing something cringe? Uh-oh. Uh... I actually don't know. Rat jam. Rat I think jam. I play that thing. I need to Rat go over 18. Jam. Right, I have some... Yeah, I get this enrage buff. That's right. Okay, I want to change this because it's not going to be fun. I hate this play style. Uh, where do I do this? Uh, here. Uh, right, I want victory rush. Yeah, victory rush will take. Get rid of quick strike. Uh, Rat jam. Oh, Rat the jam. Like Rat jam. What the hell? Turtle and Sin Claws? That's a tag team. Hold on. Hold on. I got you both. I got you. I got you. I got you. Shit. I don't know if it's the right one. Nope. Fuck. Uh, I can fix this. Hold. I can fix it. I got it. 
Rat jam. Rat jam. <laughs> Rat jam. Seddy. Uh, Seddy with the 10. Thank you so much, Seddy. I need a, a, a three-way team. Rat jam. It was a good three triple team. Rat jam. Oh, God, Zaconic's a four-way team. Jam. That's an entire faction. That's an entire faction. Oh, my God. Yeah. It has to be this. Are you ready? Rat jam for rat no, 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 no. That's the 10 sub quad. You tell us what to wear. It has to be a Pablo. That's five people. How much was the six? Oh, my God. You fuckers. Okay, I'm bringing it back. Rat jam. This is rat too jam. old school. This is too rat old school. Jam. I got this. Alright, oh, music's not very high, though. <laughs> rat jam. That's rat the only jam. one I can think of that had rat six jam. in it. The Nation of Domination. Can anybody here? Let's test the, who here is an actual classic wrestling fan. Who can name all four four my primary members of Nation of Domination? I could do it. The Rock, yes, the Rock was in the Nation of Domination. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, I'll take a sack speed. Yeah, attack speed's fine. D'Lo Brown, Farouk. Can I please get Chuck Colombo and Billy Gunless? Ahmed Johnson was in there. He was not called the, God, the Godfather at the time. He was not. Mark Henry was in the nation. Kama Mustafa. Well done. Well done. Well done. Hey, thank you all for those subs, man. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. Zaka, Pablio, Zaconix, Zenny, Sinclaus, Turtlefish, the Nation of Domination, standing tall. Can you get Chuck Palumbo or Billy Gunn? Uh, no. No. Uh, but we are working on it for uh, long-term subs. It's not just for people who gift subs, but uh, we're trying to work on a way. So it's like, uh, if you, I, I think, in my opinion, if you've reached certainly the 100 mark right or whatever. Jam. Right jam. Rat Jam Gimpy. What would Gimpy's song be? Ooh, Gold Dust? Uh, no, I know what it would be. I know what it would be. It would be... This is definitely Gimpy. Rat Jam. Rat Jam. Rat Jam. That's the gimpster in a nutshell, for sure. That's the gimpster right there. Zorm, Zorm's, oh God, Zorm 10, shit. What would Zorm's music be? Old school. Uh, what would Zorm be? Oof. Uh, like that's, Zorm's super old school. Uh, it'd be like a return. No, the hurricane's a meme one. Zom's not a meme one. I'm trying to pick what I would have if I. Uh... Oh yeah, I don't Rat have jam. cannibalized. Rat jam. Uh... Uh, brain work. Oh god. <laughs> what would we have for John? I'm thinking Zom. Don't worry. Oh, John with a hundred. All right, a hundred gets a special one. A hundred gets a special one for sure. Okay, yeah. I, I, okay, this is easy. This is easy game. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. We'll have to put John as Shane O'Mac. <laughs> that has to be John. <laughs> 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 
That has to be John in a nutshell. Without 40k collection, there's no way. There's no way. I need someone old school for John. Uh, I need someone old school. You know what? I think this is the one for Zom as well. I think this is what I would have Zom as. Yeah, Oz, oh, John called it, you jerk. I don't know if it's too epic. Rat jam, rat jam, rat jam. <laughs> oh, you guys are just subbing for entrance songs at this point. Mez, who would Mez be? Uh, God, I'm trying to fit the song to the person. Uh, who would Mez be? Uh, okay, cheeky, mouth soft, knowledgeable though. The Miz is a bit new school for me. Uh... Ooh, Jericho? No, not that cheeky. And also not as completely bad. Uh, Jericho is tainted now. Jericho is unfortunately tainted. He appears to be on the cancelled list. Jericho's out. Uh... I want it to fit Mez perfectly. Not a tag team. Rat jam. Rat jam. Oh, we'll land Rat her. jam. For sake. Oh, Alandra. Alandra has only one possible choice. Rat jam. Rat jam. Rat jam. There's only one choice for Alandra. There's only one that fits Alandra in a nutshell. The glass breaking. Alandra qualifies as Steve Austin every single time. Uh, every single time. Not the disturbed version. No, anybody who preferred the disturbed version is actually a moron. A complete moron. It was so freaking bad. The classic one. Oh, yeah. Alandra approves. Oh, thank you so much, Alandra. Uh, I still need Mez. Um, kind of rough around the edges is how I picture Mez, actually. Yeah. You know what? I think Mez. Grouping up in my game? Hell no. I think that fits Mez. I think that fits Mez perfectly. Not a sexy boy, not a hello ladies. No, no, no. But a bit of Batista in your face, that's Mez in a nutshell. You'll take it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that fits perfectly. I tell you what, it's not hard to fit. It's, it's actually... No, no, it's, not, it's hard to fit theme songs to you guys. Okay, everybody's here. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go deeper in. Hey, thank you, everybody. You're all wonderful. Thank you so... I put it over 3K again. Wow, man. You guys are amazing. Amazing. Thank you so all good. You think your hair transplant was worth it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my back one failed. Actually, I was talking to um, uh, a friend of mine just had his, uh, just had a hair transplant. Uh, a really close friend of mine. Um, and I gave him the advice I wish someone would give me is uh, my back half uh, was only about 5% successful. Uh, where my front half was 94% successful. Um, and he's just had his done, and he was like, uh, what do you think I should do? And I, I think I, although I followed the rules, I will say this, I followed the rules, I think I removed the, because you have scabbing afterwards, I think I removed the scabbing too early on the back. I don't know if I did and if it had any effect. As that's my one regret, is I followed the instructions, but I don't know, because on the first one, I accidentally left them on... Uh, for like a week longer than I should have, uh, according to the documentation. 
Uh, so when I told the doctors that, they were like, yeah, you don't need to do that. It's fine. Uh, just uh, you can remove them when we say. And I did that and the back didn't quite work. So I don't know if I screwed it up or... I just have that feeling, you know, like I'm not sure. But overall, yeah, I'm much happier with it. Yeah. Uh, no, you can do it again, but uh, it's very expensive. Like, uh, it was... It was... Um, I mean, I, I'd think about it, but... Rat jam. I don't Rat jam. care that much. Rat jam. Jenna? Oh, Jenna. What is Jenna's song? Oh, I know what Jenna's song is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. 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 Got the legend status. I don't remember it doing that. <laughs> I don't remember it doing that. However, it is Lita's song. I don't remember it ever going into like new metal stuff. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that. But Jenna, Jenna strikes me as the Lita vibe every step of the way. Thank you so much, Jenna. Hey, Nick, I've how you doing? Paying attention to yeah, season two just started. Having yeah, the level cap's level 40. Cap 40. Although I can tell by how this... And now all our WoW streams go, this is going to be a fucking long leveling session. I always plan to knuckle down, right? And be like, okay, we're going to kick ass and take some names. We're going to have a really good day. We're going to smash out a few levels. And then it always degenerates into shooting the shit like we're in a fucking bar or something. Not like mine. It's also really fun. Always does, man. Wow, well, suits that Rat kind jam. of gameplay. Rat oh, jam. God. Boris. Rat jam. What is Boris's song? Serial killer Australian. A serial killing Australian. Oh. Um, mm, Rat jam. Rat oh, jam. God. It's an Australian tag team. Two Australians. Shit, that is pushing my wrestling knowledge. Uh, an Australian tag team. It can't be the Bushwhackers, because they're like a mean team. Uh, fuck. Australian serial killer and a Pokemon fan. That's two very distinct personalities. Uh, uh, oh, this is a blast from the past. Who remembers this? Serial killer fit, also whimsical. The brood, correct, the brood. They used to pour blood on everybody. There's your serial killer vibe, but they were also vampires, giving some whimsy to the whole thing. To new school, I believe that is circa 1997, I would guess. Amazing that no people didn't really buy that a man was a vampire. Yes! Can you name all three members of the brood? Yeah, you probably already Rat said jam. it. Rat oh, jam. no! He's back! No! No, he's here! No! Chaos! The king is back! No! No, no, it's the kid. Oh, he's back. He lurks in the shadows. No, there's only one song that fits that nobody ever saw you coming and you came in like a fucking truck.
my liege. It's the only one that fits, James. There's a bit of Goldberg for your face. If I could put fireworks on. Although you don't deserve it after the absolute chaos and heart attacks you caused us during the summerthon, Kit James. You know my wife legitimately wants to hurt you, IRL. That's not a meme. <laughs> she really hates you. She really, really hates you. <laughs> <laughs> she checked the chaos coin. God, that eight hour roll that lost. <sighs> In one hand, we jumped for joy. And with the other, we uh, we cried in sorrow. It turned out all right in the end, but at the time... Well, it looks like King well, James I didn't done know. it again and caused you more pain. Indeed. Ratopia when. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, we've hit the Ratopia. Well, obviously not right now, but we will... Uh, I'll probably... I'll start... I'll, 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 to, I'll talk to Weber and see if we can do a weekend stream. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I, I think that's fair. Weber should be okay with it. And we'll do some rats. I, I, I'll convince my wife. I'll convince my wife. Uh, all right. I'll, talk, I'll tell you what I'll do for you. not answering she knows what it is this is what she does she, yeah she's smart she's not answering she's not answering she knows what's up she knows she knows if i'm calling her during the day it can't be good good for me hey it's 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 not being cooked you should always clarify stuff like that with your partner that's called being in a grown-up relationship that's what that is that's called being a grown-up asking your wife cooked cooked hard oh i need that one don't tag it. Thank you. Oh, built the officer towards it. Have you seen that Vermintide 2 as a versus mode? Uh, I haven't, but Warhammer Summer is something I'm so excited about. Warhammer Summer is something I'm very excited about. Uh, what am I missing here? Uh, Mary's Looking Glass. Hi, Mary. Oh, no. You got to wait for a spawn. Oh. Let me help. I am here to help, my friends. What's the spring lineup? Uh, two things I want to hit in the spring. One, I want to kill a POE uber boss. Uh, and I want to get to level 60 in hardcore. I want that done before Dawn Trail arrives. I want those two under the belt. We still haven't done our Fast and the Light victory. Uh, so that's still on the menu, and we've got Final Fantasy 15 as well is going to slot in there. It was 15 that won, right? Yes. Ratopia will be soon, not later. 13 is coming, it's just not next, alright? It's not like we're not doing 13. Ratopia win. Rogue Trader when? Ratopia Final probably Fantasy tomorrow or, or Sunday. I'll clarify with Emma. Ratopia will be tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, Rogue Trader will be in the summer. Rogue Trader will be part of Warhammer Summer for obvious reasons. I don't think we're ready as a stream. I don't think we're ready as a stream for uh, another massive... CRPG. <laughs> I don't think we're ready. We need a little bit of uh, breathing room between CRPGs. They are monumental things. Will you stop at the mainline numbered FF games? Uh, my goal is to finish the mainline numbered ones first and then we have choices of what we want to do. Right? So that's my goal. Let's finish the mainline ones. We've got four left. Uh, four left. We've done XCOM 2, man. We did it. It's done. <laughs> XCOM 2 is done. We did it. You guys failed me. 
We even had a montage of you guys failing. You guys let me down. It was very sad. Are those the spiders? All right, the spiders are everywhere. So let's ignore the spiders for now. Uh, let's go over here. No, we didn't do XCOM 1. No, we didn't. But apparently there's a Warhammer XCOM style game. So we get a two for one. Three left? Uh, no, because we haven't done two. So we've got two and three, two and five, and 13 and 15. Incompetent commander. <laughs> Look, if you'd hit the shots I told you to hit, uh, that would work, right? I didn't let you die, Deck. I didn't let you die. You, d you died yourself, man. Yeah, I mean, as somebody who's only recently even... Dis I, it actually fucking blows my mind as... It's weird, right? You guys know more than anybody, like, more than my wife, how much I like dark, macabre stories, right? Uh, and, like, gritty stuff. It's why I love Bloodborne so much. Like, all that stuff. Could give, me, give me more Cthulhu and uh, I'm a happy boy. And not until this year, despite being in front of an audience for so long, did anybody even bring up 40k in a real way. And now I'm like, oh, actually, this suits me perfectly. This is awesome. I almost one shot a boss on spawn. Bragger. Nice. Just get chosen as the hero class. You realize that's six games, right? 13 has three parts. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I know there's like FF 10, 2, 13, 2, and 3, or whatever. I'm doing the base games first. Why didn't I set my hearthstone? Uh, have you started reading any of the books? No, no, no. I'm listening to the stories. Uh, yeah. I I, am, I really just wouldn't have time to do that. So uh, I've got some... Uh, what am I listening to on Audible right now? Well, I've got it on Audible downloaded, but I'm listening to some... Honestly, I've been so preoccupied following the wrestling news recently. <laughs> that... Uh... That's taken up a lot of my time. Uh, I've got First and Only by Dan Abnett downloading and ready to go, which is the start of one of the big uh, the big story arcs. Okay, apparently I just hit play on that. I don't know if we'll do the DLCs. Sometimes we've done DLCs, sometimes we haven't. I, I'll, leave, I'll leave that open to whatever we want to do at the time. We want Cody prevailed, apparently. Apparently. Uh, a deep rabbit hole consuming batshit moments and lore videos. Uh, that's okay. Like, it's already starting off wacky enough. You know what I mean? It always gets there. You're reading every book. Jesus Christ. Wacky. But yeah, Varia, uh, the Blizzard uh, community manager for EU, also just got into 40k. Uh, she's just got her first painting station set up and all that. She's doing all the painting. She's similar. She didn't know anything about it. Eight-legged menaces available. I don't see no quest. Is it this guy? Beware, beware. A great threat lurks in the wild. Night watchers be on the alert. Is this an event? What's happening? In my world of Warcraft? Dynamic events? I don't think so. Oh, um, hmm. he's fine. He's fine. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up by. I'll pick up this quest later. Oh no. I need to go. Uh, oh, I don't need to go. Uh, um, I'm just gonna stay over here. If that's okay with you. Yeah. Uh, a playable uh, race is important to you. They're not a top priority, but I would always prefer to play what I want than what's best. That's how I would say that. Like, I've 
I have definitely spent more money than is a reasonable human being uh, on race changes for min-maxing. Like, in World of Draenor, I played a female Orc Rogue, dude. That was not a fun time. That was not a fun time. When I was Alliance, I played a Worgen Warlock. Like, gross. Absolutely gross. Oh, Dame of Thank you for the 11 months, despite much, much longer being around. Thank you, Dame. I hope uh, Canada treating you well. It was gross. But, I mean, it was either the female Orc Rogue or the male Orc Rogue. And, therefore, I definitely made the right choice. Right? Let's be clear. Between the two, I made the right choice. Male Orc Rogues are an abomination. I don't know, female orc is nowhere near as bad as male orc in, in terms of being a rogue. That stealth animation is criminal. Like, it's on par with Tauren rogue animation. Just gross. Just gross. Although, I, in my personal opinion is Tauren priest is worse than everything. Male Tauren priest and female Tauren priest is just... <laughs> It makes me want to leave the group. So bad. Yeah, the first time... I think it, they came in in Kata, because I distinctly remember doing one of the dungeons and seeing one. Only purple orcs can be rogues. It is the sneakiest color. <laughs> that a fact. Panda DKs. I find pandas hilarious. So I have a bit more forgiveness for pandas because they just look funny. Like they're so fat and wobbly. It's why Kenny always played a uh, a panda if he could because he just it just made him laugh every time he was playing it. Kulturian. I've never seen a Kulturian in game, and if I have, I've never noticed. I think Kulturian was added as like a a diversity hire, like. Some people want an overweight, fat guy to play in their fantasy RPG, so let's put it in. <laughs> Who those people are, I don't know. Yeah, but all druid races suck besides Night Elf, right? The druids are the most fucked over race in the whole game. The Horde especially. Like, can I please have a Blood Elf fucking Druid at this point? Please, I beg. Or a Gnome Druid would be piss. You turn into a kitten? It seems like a moneymaker to me. Druids, for me, are easily the most profitable fucking race uh, class in the game. I would just set a little art team making, like, different cat shapes and stuff for different races that suit them. It works well with trolls. So, you can... Oh, you're just going to fucking invite me out of the blue, eh? Like some sort of chud. Dude, a little kitten instead of a, like a normal cat as a gnome? Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Blood elf ones could be all like magical and crazy. Orcish ones would be like all brutal and spiky. Like it's just a money pit. Hey, right, no worries. Nah, hey, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it, dude. You're a star, brother. Oh, tree form gnome being like a little dancing sunflower. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. And they would just be a little like bear cub when they were tanking. Yeah, it would be like baby Groot. It would be so good. Exactly. Isn't it not like just money that's just being left on the table? That's well worth it. And it's all cosmetic. Because they don't even wear armor. It's just cosmetics. Badger form. <laughs> I would actually like it if they went even further. So, like, the Blood Elves got, like, Mana Worm form instead of Cat form. Something like that. That, like, suits their race in some way. I think that would be really cool. Like, they learn the druidic powers. But they, of course, twisted it with the Sunwell's corruption. And now they're worms. I 
I, I think it's just a gold mine that's got to be well worth the investment. Uh, we don't need any wolfies, do we? We need spooders. Who would get the rat farm? No, you're not thinking like a business. You're not thinking like a corporation. You can't have everything on one person. They have to pay. Vulpira. Yes, Vulpira would get rat farm. 100%. Vulpira would definitely get cat farm. Uh, rat farm. Vulpira fits perfectly, actually. I would like goblins to get, like, Meccano farms. I think that would be suit them down to the ground. So they get, like, um... Shit, what's that transformer that comes out of Soundwave's chest? Um, that's like the cat, like a panther. You know what I mean. Ravage. Yeah, so they would get forms that are like Ravage and stuff like that. Uh, that would be dope. I don't, I think Blizzard would feel that would go Mechanomes. I mean, it could go to both, right? Like different forms. I mean, the Mechanomes could even have... I would have Mechanomes being uh, way more jank. Because all the Mechanome models are fucking cringe, so... <laughs> They would be like all like, uh, they'd be look like something like a 40k orc made it, right? They're all like smashed together with random shit. <laughs> like bits of brass and old fucking chud helmets all over them. Hey, dude. Fellow Night Elf brother. Ooh, thank you so much. Big swan. I bet I can't hit anything with it now, hey. Are you ready for that? Guaranteed. Just pop retail now for no reason because I've got fat, juicy uh, man fingers. Oh, no, I've actually got some weapon skill. Oh, cheers, brother. Am I wrong on this or what? Or is Blizzard just leaving fucking money on the table? Like, druids just seem like a gold mine. You're wrong. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> well, that puts a crimp in mine. <laughs> Goblin voice, you all in riding mechs. Uh, I mean, this is why I thought... Uh, I forget the name of the zone. BFA, the, the mech zone, where the Mega Dungeon was. But it was such a disappointment that we didn't get all those, like, tech mods to go with it. Like, the possibilities in that zone were so cool. Mechagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mechagon could have had so much cool shit going on. I would have loved that so much. Uh, what would the gnome tank farm be? Uh, I mean, a bear cub, ideally. Uh, gnomes need to have a theme that they're animals, but small. <laughs> they're small. So it'd be like a little bear cub thing. Yes. Armin Jarman! What's up, brother? Long time no see. What up, bro? What up, pal? I hope you're good. Smile. Oh, we're foodless and poor. Yikes. Uh, shit, we need to work on our professions. Oh, we got some lean venison. Nice. <laughs> Imagine a shaman tank that turns into a massive fuck-off elemental. Sick, right? So good. Yeah, I haven't done my professions on this character. It's all good. All fine. No complaints. Why work? Why'd you keep... You're, you're like a true rogue stalking through the plains. Uh, goblin... Don't you think goblins would fit actually riding a tank around better? Like, uh, especially if you... Imagine the, the microtransactions. You could have a little tank that leaves, like, little traces of gold and shit around. Nuts and bolts and stuff. Yeah, I couldn't play last night. Oh, you've got food! Oh, you are just, like, the best post bro in the world. Thank you. Yeah, he came out last night. I was doing a charity stream last night. We raised 20,000 pounds for uh, gamer accessibility last night. It was uh, a good night. It was a very good night. Yeah, it's called special effect. They uh, they make uh, stuff for people who've got disabilities that don't let them use, you know, like mouse and keyboard or controller and make uh, custom stuff for them and stuff. Good, good charity. <coughs> 20k in the bank for those dudes. <laughs> Are you keeping that money for 10 years? <laughs> well, I just haven't found the right charity. We're also uh, working with um, uh, someone else. Uh, 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 no, it was Ubisoft's money. 
It wasn't uh, a charity drive from the audience. Skull and Bones was way more fun in multiplayer. Way more fun. It's got issues in the single player because uh, you, the purpose is a bit vague. You know, you, there's loads to do, but why am I doing it other than to get power? Which never really sits with me super well. It's because it's like that. Uh, it's the problem I have with games like Diablo, right? It's like gear farming to get stronger to farm more gear. Is That's hard for me to enjoy uh, any speck of the way. But a lot of people do enjoy that. But going around pirating with the crew was very fun, uh, unquestionably. And the two streamers I got to play with were awesome. I got very lucky, I think. They were full of banter. They were f proper chatters. None of, not, neither of them were quiet at all, which was great. Yeah, I haven't played D4, so I'm not super on the D4 hate wagon because I haven't actually played it to form my own opinion. I know the general feeling of it, though. Yeah, Skull and Bones is what it is. Uh, I'm going to give it another try and release because we're adding more stuff to it uh, and see what it's like. Because it comes out in a week or so. Uh, but it's the game that's made after off the back of Black Flag because everybody who played Black Flag, the Assassin's Creed game, loved... Um, Love the pirating so much. The story is you're becoming the pirate lord of the sea. So there is a story and there's a main story quest, which we've done we've done like four hours of. Because uh, I, I, we're still in the tutorial area, right? So, oh, am I going to die? Hold. We're fine. Um, let's put our food on that. Good. Perfect. We haven't got any potions. Yikes, did we pick up alchemy and whatnot? No, we didn't. Okay. Noted. <clears throat> All I've seen is some of the cutscenes of Diablo 4, and the cutscenes are incredible, but Blizzard has uh, never really let us down in that department. Not too often, anyway. Oh, I can't I can't deny when the trailer played at BlizzCon, even though it blanked on our on the main stage for a while, it was fucking cool. Yeah, the uh, Skull Bones open beta is out now, so you can just download and play it literally the second for free if you want to. I think it finishes on Sunday. You know what I was really happy with last night? Because they obviously wanted all of us to be on the same pegging. I shouldn't use that word. But um, they, all, they all wanted us to start at the exact same point. So they gave us, even though we had our own accounts, they gave us all... Uh, uh, an account that they had prepared, right? So they prepared a bunch of accounts for us. They didn't give us crazy overpowered stuff. I was really impressed by that. Usually, and, you know, especially with the bigger companies, they try and show off all their elite MTX and stuff at these kind of things, even though it's a charity event. And they didn't do that. I was actually really happy about that. Uh, it's just last night's VOD. Oh, what is that? The Twisted Chances staff. Chances? Uh, would you say that Blizzard and Squeenix, mainly the FF teams, do some of the best, if not the best, cinematics? Uh, Blizzard makes the best cinematics. But, I mean, FF16's gameplay cinematic experience? Oh, there's the thingy! That's the rare pet, right? Isn't that the rare hunter pet? Or am I wrong? I know it's from around here because we went and got it. Is that not him? The rare fox or whatever it was? Just a bush and dusk wood. Yeah, and we, I remember there's... I know there's like a secret pet that lurks in here somewhere. There is. There's a secret pet that's in one of the bushes in Duskwood. We went and got it. You know, I remember pe people were really pissed at me because I got it the second I arrived. <laughs> Some people have been farming it for months and it just happened to be there when I got there. <laughs> Easy win. Streamer privilege all the way. Hey, Fury, two what's years. up, dude? Yeah, WTF two big years, dude. Flies. Yeah, it wanted something. Well, I remember I haven't been a Lions for a very, very long time. Very long time. Please visit your doctor. 
I think your age is really showing now. All right, you guys fucking hanging out in Duskwood all night every night. Fucking have a go at me. No sign of a rune yet. Hmm. Early days, though. Early days. I'll let it slide, Blizz. I'll let it slide for now, but no sign of a rune yet. But we'll keep doing. Uh, we gotta check out Last Epochs. If I have time. This year is so full. Like, we've already talked about today. Warhammer Summer. We've got PoE. Uh, we've got Hardcore WoW. We've got... Um, four more of the single-player FFs. And we've literally not even mentioned the War Within or Dawn Trail in that conversation. Like, this year is actually ridiculous. I feel like I need to divorce my wife, move to Texas, uh, and live in a... I need to live in an area of the world that's so hot outside that I can't physically go outside. And just game. Right? I need to go to somewhere that is literally toxic to leave the house. I do have an attic. I don't want to live in there. I'm pretty sure there's spooders in there. Even though I've never seen one when I've been in there. Australia welcomes you. I need to see more of Australia. I, I was in Sydney this last last year. That was beautiful. We didn't see uh, much outside of uh, touristy places. I don't like cold. I'm much more of a fan of hot. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a cold fan. Emma said she wanted to move to Texas, although she's never been to Texas. It was possibly one of the most absurd things she was like semi-serious about we've ever had as a conversation as a married couple. I was like, based on what? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's because she thought she could get away wearing cowboy boots on the regular. <laughs> and that was the limit of the thought process so that got into Texas. So you are saying you need to become as Mongols? Uh, no, I'm not a big fan of cockroaches. Or walls of blood. Not a huge fan. No. Uh, I could skimp on that. Uh, not, not my thing. I'm not a fan. <laughs> oh, I want to do that as well, Dwinky. That's one of my uh, bucket list items, is to uh, go ice breaking. I totally want to go ice breaking. Uh, I really do want to set it up as a community thing because Emma's not into it. But there's some of our audience who want to do it. I think we set it up as uh, a, a group thing. Yeah, I know you're down for it, Woden. I think it's like a month-long journey and I don't think we can stream from there, though. Icebreaking is going through, like, the Arctic Circle. Uh, is there a, uh, any Alliance knowers? Is there a vendor near here? Maybe here, this little thing. Yeah, it's certainly not for everybody, but it's like uh, going through the Arctic Circle and you're breaking the ice in order to make passageways for the ships. Uh, and you see all sorts of wonderful things of nature out there. Uh, and I'm totally down with that. It's actually quicker for me to run to the other zone. It probably is here. Greetings. How are you? I actually totally bet it is. Where am I in relation to everything? Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Sentinel Hill's only there. Oh, yeah, it's a really cool thing. Have you never seen Snow Woden? No way. Have you literally never seen snow in real life? Whoa, that's mind-blowing. Holy crap. Team Australia, wow. That's insane. Never seen snow. If only they'd been with us in fucking Copenhagen, Furion, right? We were fucking freezing to death. I don't. It wasn't snowing, but goddamn. Oh, was it snowing? It was snowing. Was it snowing when we were in Copenhagen? It was, right? I can't remember. Yeah, it was. It was fucking snowing there. Jesus Christ. Oh, snow is great. As long as you don't have to do any work in it. Snow is great. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I only had a hoodie on. Well, I... 
And to be fair, the Echo team did tell me it was going to be really cold, but I did call and they were like, well, it's not it's not snowing. And the second I arrived, it was it started snowing. <laughs> uh, where's the vendor here? Down here in the town, I think, right? You broke 24 bones in the snow? You got no snow in... Where are you? Uh, you're in Canada, right? You got no snow in Canada? Isn't that, like, illegal? There is a vendor here, right? Okay, there we go. Shitty winter. Unlucky. Get rid of that. Uh, I need to enchant my gear as well. I'm probably not going to replace the epics I've got very soon. No, we don't need that anymore. That's quest stuff. I should pop these scrolls. I I'm not going to do this fucking lunar event shit. That can fuck off. Food is good. Another scroll. We'll just pop them when we get back into combat. Those are quest things. Uh, I assume this... Is this BOE worth anything? I'm guessing. My gut instinct is no. Uh, that's my shield and my one-hander. It's more food. That's good. Uh, more food. Nice. And some eggs. Oh, we did have a little bit of food on us. Oh, we got silk. I probably need to upgrade my first aid. Okay. That's fine. Uh, 240. I have like a thousand health now. This food is going to be no good. That's better food. Okay. Let's put those together. Let's get a little organized here. Uh, put food down here. Wonderful. These are some consumables. Crab meat can go. Uh, where are we on the bandage situation? Hold. Uh, anyone know what uh, silk is? I think silk is 150, right? Around there. <laughs> it's worth stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so here, one of our agricultural warehouses just exploded into flames. Jesus. Like, my plan, I want to get to Canada probably 2025. Um, but I want to go from the north to the south and then, like, finish, I don't know, probably Niagara or somewhere like that. But I want to see the north of Canada. I want to, I want to, I want to experience what it's like up there. Yeah, you're going to, you promised me a good time, Dame. It's a long journey, but I, I, I'm, t I'm kind of... This set is such a first world problem, I'm aware of it, right? But it's really frustrating when I get to travel to some really cool countries and I see a city street. Like, I was in New Zealand. I traveled across the entire fucking length and breadth of the globe to New Zealand and I saw one square mile. <laughs> and then I had to come back. Like, I didn't see anything. I might as well have been in Manchester. Like, it's, oh, wow. I saw nothing that was any different than what was at home. Other than the accents were slightly different. That's it. That's that's all I got out of it. So I actually want to visit some places. Yeah, I got. I I, I saw more. I was. How long was I in Australia for? Thirty six hours or something. Something really small. I was in Australia for thirty six hours and saw considerably more than the four days or whatever I was in New Zealand. The Legend of Stahl Vaughn complete. Is this just a turn in? Travel to Moonbrook Schoolhouse and bring back updated information. Okay, looks like we accidentally came somewhere we needed to be. Great. We got loads done. Yeah, we did all right. We did escape rooms. It was great. You all go to Alberta and Edmonton because they found dinos there and they have cool paleontologists in Edmonton. Nerd. <laughs> Fucking nerd. 36 hours spent more time traveling there than being there. Yeah. Yeah, literally. That was... Um, that New Zealand and Sydney trip that I did in the summer was uh, brutal. I'm very happy my family didn't come along. As angry as they were that, like... So you're going to go to New Zealand and Sydney, Australia, and we're not coming. And I was like, you've... I, I already knew what my schedule was going to be like. So I was like, I'm not... We're not going to be able to do anything. Literally, I'm, I'm working from the second I land until the second I leave, and I'm having fun in Australia with friends for a day. That's it. Uh, she was pissed, but yeah. 
That was, what, 56 hours of flying in five days or something stupid? Six days? 56 hours of that spent on planes, not including time actually in the airports waiting for the planes and things like that. It was, uh, it was rough. It was pretty rough. And then, of course, Zizaran was like, well, I upgraded to first for, to business class, so I don't know what you're talking about. I, uh, <laughs> my trip was awesome. I was treated like gold. Uh, oh, uh, do I? Ah, there we go. There's a box. Oh, hold the box. Should I kill spirit? I will. I learned about bin chickens next to the opera house. That was an experience that I didn't know I was going to have, but I did. The power of the bin chickens. <clears throat> My dad said 37 the other day. It's kind of scary to think he was already married and I was on the way when he was the same age I am now. Oh, do you have a kid young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the, fuck the ibis bird. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was so confused because uh, it made sense that we meet at the opera house, right? Despite the fact that Crooker had me meet him under a bridge. And it turns out Sydney has 8 billion bridges all next to each other. And then I see people, I was like, oh, we're going to have some food here? Or is it like too expensive? Because I imagine they rob you blind because it's next to the opera house. And they're like, no, 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 we'll go, we'll, we'll go somewhere else. And then they started bringing the food out under like legitimate cages. Like giant fucking, you remember that Sia video where like Shia LaBeouf was running around in his underpants in that one? And they were in that big cage. That's how your food arrived in this fucking giant cage. And I'm looking at it going, what in the fuck is going on? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. This is because of the bin chickens. And they literally just steal your entire plate of food. So your food comes out under, like, prison rules. A bin chicken is a big, fat, greedy-ass seagull bird called the ibis that legitimately steals your entire dinner if it has the opportunity to do so. Uh, yeah, World of Warcraft has a... Uh, we talked about this a little while. Is like... One thing I don't think World of Warcraft needs is a particular graphical overhaul. It's really stood the test of time. I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't think the graphics of the game are actually a problem. Like, there's better resolutions to put in and textures for sure, but the actual art style, I think, super fits. Kind of like Wind Waker. Like, people really moaned about Wind Waker when it came out, saying it looked like arse. But Wind Waker looks phenomenal even today. It looks wonderful. Yeah, Wind Waker's, like, really stood up the test of time now. But uh, if you were there when it released, people really were not happy with Wind Waker. I mean, it's a tough act to follow, right? It was following Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, so... That's a t that is a pretty tough ask. Tough ask of a, a tough ask. Please make the sequel to the most highly rated video game of all time. Okay. <laughs> sure. No problem. Yeah, Wind Waker's the cell shaded one. Uh, they've released the HD version. Uh, the HD version is fantastic. You get like 10 FPS on Mythic Farak on a 3090? Then you've got something wrong. That should not be happening. The PCs the world first players played on were less than that, and they weren't getting that. You've got some other issue. That's something else. That's not a hardware problem, for sure. Like, not even close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you definitely have something else going on. <laughs> right, so talk about 10 to 20 on a lesser machine than yours. And believe me when I tell you... They're running some of the most cringe weak horrors you've ever seen that are built by a... Basically, how can I describe this person who works on the Echo team? Um, 
picture uh, Fred Flintstone, but with like four cigarettes in his mouth, but still no shoes on. Who actually hates coding and weak horrors uh, with all his fiber, but like is really good at it. Sat in a box corner, putting it together as fast as humanly possible. I also don't think that's true. Like, I watched F Mythic Frack endlessly. I don't remember them having real FPS issues. Maybe on very specific moments, like a minor drop, but... I mean, we broadcast the whole thing. <laughs> I'm joking. Grim is nothing like that. <laughs> and there's also more people that work on a week or as an Echo than Grim does, but... Uh, Grim's a wonderful person. I like... I likes me, Grim. Just teasing him. Hate it, but I can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not getting the apple visor thing. No. no. I haven't seen anything about that device that would make me want to buy it. I will say I've yet to see anybody actively wearing it in public either. I just know that that is the first step towards Ready Player One. Like, I, every time I see the videos of the screen, like what it's like in IRL, I'm like, dude, this is going to be so filled with advertisements. In five, four, three, two, one. And it's just going to be filled with adverts. Like, I, I really suspect this is the first step towards the technology where our world looks like Blade Runner. With, like, full giant mega adverts that pop out and walk around and shit like that. And, uh, like, Back to the Future, when the Jaws shark came out of the cinema. I f I, maybe I'm being full boomer on this, but that's what I predict. We're, that, that, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's where we're going. We are totally going there. Yeah, but it's going to mix with AR. If this Once this technology starts becoming more adopted, and it will... Advertisers and things are going to be all over it. It's like, well, we'll put an augmented reality thing on Times Square. You know, that's how it'll start. And people will be s fucking rushing to go and see it. They'll all be stood in Times Square with their fucking headsets watching an advert because it'll be cool. And it will be cool. It will absolutely be cool. And then it'll start to, like, follow you and stuff. And it'll talk to you. It'll say your name because they'll have that built in. So you'll be walking down the street and then some... No doubt, ridiculously cute Asian lady will be like, Hi, Mike. Why don't you buy this new toothpaste? Your breath stinks. And you'll be like, what the fuck? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, like what, what the hell? Uh, like, and you'll just be... That, that's where we're heading. I'm fucking telling you, dude. I'm telling you, that's happening. That's the future. Like, if they, people start adopting this technology, and they absolutely will do, you guarantee the advertisers are going to be like, well, what can we do with this? Like, right now, we're seeing all the cool shit, right? Like, that F1 thing was pretty awesome. <gasps> oh, no, this is scrolls. Oh, shit, I thought we got, um... I thought we got something to do with a rune there, but that's the scrolls that mages can do, isn't it? <laughs> Milf surrounding your area? Oh, well, then we're going to have the problem of it'll be tailored advertising to you. And you cracked one out the night before, right? And you'll be shopping with your wife the next day. And then suddenly, it's like, why are you getting all these fucking adverts for, for these women in your area? Because you'll have it, like, synced, right? Because uh, you want a shared experience with your loved ones. And, yeah, that shit's going to fucking... I'm telling you, there's some bad shit coming, dude. You only have that, not just our glasses. I do like hearing the stories of somebody who was watching porn the night before and then their Tesla, like, carries on watching it as someone they get in the car for the school run or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Never sync your device. Just don't watch porn. Take a pure have a purity ring. Have a purity ring. You'll be fine. Good enough for the Jonas Brothers and Mickey Mouse. Good enough for me. I'm out of 
What? No. Hey, GG. You want it? I, did you know you guys not think it was interesting, though? That even though it has cameras and stuff, uh, when you use FaceTime with it, it uses an avatar instead of you. Because you know that the next stage of that, which is already happening, is modified versions of yourself that you'll project to other people, right? That's the next step, is that like, if you're not happy with your appearance in some way, is that you'll be modifying it to do that. Well, I don't think you can put the headset on your penis to broadcast your penis. It broadcasts like it broadcasts like your face and shoulders up. It's like upper torso. <laughs> I can finally become my VTuber. That's what's gonna happen. And then we're down. Uh, then we're going full Bruce Willis. What was that frigging movie where people didn't use their real bodies? They had them robots instead that were like always the younger prime version of themselves. Surrogates. That's the one. And then everybody in real life was like older and shit. And uh, crispier. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's VR chat, but it's going to become mainstream. That's what. That's the difference. It's going to be like the standard way. Like Zoom is standard now. It's going to be the next step. Altered car. Yeah, altered car backs you up. When is the Mike Tuber arc starting? <laughs> It's too late for me. I know it, you know it. It's too late for me. The VTuber arc is long gone. Long gone. Unless I'm in a fire or something. In which case, I still probably wouldn't do it. Not happening. Dating a VR chat with a realistic avatar is dystopian. Uh, I mean, maybe. But I, I know, like, a ton of really healthy marriages and stuff that have come out of, like, World of Warcraft. With people who've met online. Hell, my niece is in one. My niece met uh, her fella online, and he lives over here now, and they're having a, we have to go over Christmas dinner. They've been together for, like, 10 years now. Like, they're doing super well. Make your hobby on my own? Yeah, exactly. It totally happens. I mean, at least you know one thing. You both have a shared interest, right? Exactly. So it totally works. Hey, that first meeting had to be a bit worrying, right? So I assume you were, like, sending pictures to each other and you spanking it or whatever. Um, but then you had to have the day when you finally met. That's a rough 20 minutes. You know, that final countdown to the meeting? I don't envy that, because you know it could all be bullshit or whatever. You know? Like, you've seen those face filters, right? That change the... That China's doing, where it changes guys into girls. Uh, for TikTok and whatever. So, that, that's a spooky 20 minutes. You don't know what you're seeing anymore when the... Like, you said, you videos all day. But, uh... I don't know, man. That's a risk. Imagine meeting your wife and husband a while back in vanilla, and now they still enjoy retail. <laughs> Retail's come a long way. This isn't Shadowlands anymore. We've got to let go of the Shadowland pain. We've got to move on. But it still stings. It still stings. It's, it burnt so much. We should have a counseling session, like a group. Wow, why? What the fuck is going on here? Alu? Uh. <laughs> oh, that's level 29. You guys have fun with that. That's great. Yeah, I need to be more zoomed in. This was not designed with me having a Mythic Raider camera. This was definitely not designed with that in mind. Someone knocking at my door. Don't be. Mess you up. Uh, I think people have some people have found some runes, but they're I think they've moved them to the higher level brackets. 
So we've probably got a few levels. Probably like next zone they'll start bumping in. Uh, as I said, Bex is going to be putting together a riddle sheet. So if you don't want to just, you know, get the answers. If you want a bit of discovery in your season of discovery, we'll have um, web pages up with like riddles and stuff as to where your runes are. Uh, yes, Bex is doing them for all classes. Yes. So she's doing them. Uh, she's going to be doing them as quickly as she possibly can. So bear with first time trying it. But uh, we will have that. It's, it's what I had last season instead of... Because I, I wanted the discovery part of it, right? I'm not asked in Russian. I want the discovery bit. Uh, so we're going to attempt to do it for all classes. <laughs> Would you ever use an AI voice to crank out TDPs? Me? No. No. Um... No, but personally, I, I I like I like what I do. I don't I don't see what we do as a production line, which is when you start using AI voices, that's what that is, right? There is an alternative use though, which I'm probably less concerned about. Uh, let's suppose, in theory, I was away, say, a race to world first or something. And I'd recorded something before I left. Like, I'd left Chris with... Uh, I'd left Chris and Bex with several YouTube projects to work on. And... Oh, that's level 28. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Um, <laughs> and one of the lines wasn't working. So, could we use AI to get that line redone? Let's say the mic broke or whatever. Or there was a noise in the background that spoiled the take or something. Hmm. Potentially. No, I'll never play Black Flag again. I 100% hit Black Flag. I'm done with that. It was before the days I could stream any other game without, like, everybody trying to burn me for being a witch. You can record one line from another place, but you can't get the same sound. Like, it's a genuine problem. Uh, if you haven't got the same microphone and stuff and the same mixer setup, it sounds different. Now, that's not something you could just like, oh, can you waz it out on the microphone you go over there? It sounds noticeably different, and, uh... Oh, am I gonna die here? This thing is level 28. Like, am I fucked? Uh, why is that not in the right place? I know. Just finished uh. your BG3 playthrough. <laughs> Looking forward to Rogue Trader. <laughs> Uh, I don't read the comments on those videos, but apparently the general theme was it was the most unintentionally evil playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 anybody had ever seen. You, but I'm going to say this. At some point, I'm probably going to play Fallout 4, right? I'm not going to do this in Rogue Trader, but uh, I, at some point, I'll probably play Fallout 4. <laughs> or Fallout 5 or whatever, right? I'm going to do a White Knight playthrough where we... Uh, in fact, I'm going to call it a scum playthrough. I'm actually going to do a save scum playthrough. I'm going to do it. Where I get the outcomes I want. I'm going to do it. I don't know when, I don't know where, but I'm going to do a scum playthrough. Oh, let's not pretend we're excited for Fallout 4. Every time we brought it up, you guys have bitched and moaned about it. Even when we did our Fallout franchise playthrough, you guys moaned about it. How about you actually finish the list, TM, before you think about adding yet another game? I didn't Pepe say Lark. adding another game. I just said at some point. And that doesn't mean I've added it to the list. We've conquered some big games off the list in the last six months. We've conquered Elden Ring. And that's been a big journey for us to go on. Like, when you add that all together, that's, that's pretty substantial when you really think about it. It only took a subathon and being away from my family for, like, a... Apparently, I said 22 days yesterday, but a week. I'm not sure what was in my head at the time. But, um... That's all it took, and we got there. 
Working through the FFs is a journey on their own. Yeah, we're down to four. From playing none of the FFs, we've got four remaining. Two, I imagine, very large ones, but... Uh, and two small ones. Dude, I can't tell you. When I was painting the wall behind me, and we had the projector with you guys on, and you found that pointy handy emote, and you were just constantly spamming. You missed this spot. You missed this spot. And I could just see fingers pointing up the wall. It was so frustrating. It was honestly one of the most frustrating things in the world is to have that like constantly next to me while I was trying to paint. It really was not fun. I think my rested started uh, from me logging in last night. I don't think it gave me a full bar of rested now. That one, yeah, you missed a bit. That fucking pointy hand. And then Emma getting bored and covering me in paint. Oh, you can't, you tagged that before you even spawned. I'll get this one. I'll help you out, brother. Well, FF Celeste, uh, two five. The list being completed is a lie. Two five. But don't worry, you thirteen think you to want fifteen. It, but you don't long wait. Why does that sound familiar? It's not even that much on the list these days. Like genuinely, the list has been pretty crushed. I'm saving you, Don Papo. I was going to save you anyway. <laughs> Mr. Rune. <laughs> We're not playing 11. We're not playing 11. Say no to 11. No, I'm not playing 11. I'm also not playing Armored Core either. I watched the speedrun of it. That game is not for me. I love FromSoft, but that doesn't mean I want to play Armored Core. The list TM has been crushed, you say? Prove it. The list Show only the exists list in my head. TM. <laughs> it's so good, what the fuck? I'm sure it's great. Let's right chuck. Jam. Right jam. Thank you right so much for the five gifties, Lechuk. Thank you so much, man. I'm so sorry about ruining your plans with Guybush all those times, but you know how it be. It happens. You know how it be. It do be like that sometimes. <laughs> of course, it's the Dark Souls of FromSoft games. I've stopped Very real. working during the Subathon and BG3. I want to thank you. You really helped me pull through. Never change. Oh, thank you so much, Caspi. I hope you're doing well, man. And don't worry. We'll, uh, you guys are here. I'll be here. That's that's a square deal from me. And we'll always try and uh, cheer you up. Unless we turn into a real dour stream. Looking back over the fastidiousness and the inevitability of our own demise and the never-ending circle we seem to be going around like a drain, looking upon the next day as even worse than the last. Irrevocably, I look upon today as the worst day. But I know realistically that tomorrow will be even worse. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> so we're probably not going down that road. You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, Christmas. <laughs> ah, Christmas. What a joyous time. That was how you seemed with WoW for a while? Yeah. Yeah. If I wasn't doing YouTube, when would I have stopped making WoW content? Oh, good question. Uh, when would I have stopped playing WoW, I assume is what you mean. Um, it still would have been Shadowlands. I was still having a really good time with um, Bald, Fat, Ugly through BFA. Uh, I didn't stick with BFA because I was making content. That's for sure. Um... But Shadowlands, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of did stop pl covering WoW when I stopped playing it, when I couldn't find fun in it anymore. So, yeah, it was that, that, that was pretty accurate. I think that was the conversation as well. It's like, if I can't even bring myself to play this fucking game anymore, like, I'm not going to cover it. <laughs> covering it was misery, though, for a long time. I come here for my dose of depression from watching Mike Acts or Murder of the Innocents and the Animals. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've done nothing. I've done nothing. <clears throat> Sylvanas is driving statue set us all free. Yes. This world is a prison. True. True and real. But it did really well for the MMO market. A lot more people moved around. It gave Blizzard a kick up the ass. A lot of good came from Shadowlands, and we should appreciate that. It moved the industry forward. I'll take that as a W. No, the potion exploit is because I couldn't be asked leveling in BFA. Like, there's there's no mystery surrounding the potion exploit. No, there's no great uh, there's no great mystery there. No, oh, instant cast ranged attacks. Fuck you, Warlock. Poor. And now I'm in combat with something. Mine. Got it. Oh, we're halfway done with these. Sweet. I forgot how chill, like, classic is. <coughs> I said that my three day ban was worth it. Three days. That must have been nice. Well, I was made somewhat of an example of. But, I mean. It was also. I also got banned at the exact same day that Sekiro re released, so. Wasn't that bad. If anything, my banning just an annoyed Alex more than it annoyed me. <laughs> it was like, well done. Because I, th I think we were progressing. Uh, was it the Unat raid that had just come out? Something like that. There was a raid going on anyway. So Alex was more annoyed than uh, I was. Because uh, I'm not going to say his name, but one of our tanks also did it. I blamed me for it. Well, you were doing it. It's like, right. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. You got a three day ban? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the world took part in that thing. How long was the ban? It was it was 30 days. I got the full I got the full meat and uh, meat and potatoes on that one. It wasn't that wasn't my biggest concern actually. I the, the big thing that annoyed me is I was supposed to be on a plane that week to Blizzard to see uh I probably may in fact no, it turned out it wasn't a big deal. It was just, uh, we thought it was to see Shadowlands and give input on Shadowlands. Uh but it was uh something else. So I was really upset at the time that I was like They'd open the door to go and have people try and see content early and give their opinions and maybe make it better, and I'd missed out on that. That's what really upset me about the whole thing. Yeah, like, the people who did go were like, you didn't miss anything. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I'm getting a call from London, England. Hold on. London, England. Yellow. Hello. Sorry, who is it? PC World? Okay. What can I do for PC World? Oh, right. Yeah, I don't need that. I've got Netflix. All right, buddy. That was Curry's PC World asking me if I wanted to buy their new streaming service box. <laughs> £30 a month. It's really expensive. <laughs> that was Curry's PC World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curry's PC World. Very random. Very random. I can't recall the last time I've dealt with Curry's PC World. He, he seemed a bit annoyed that I said I have Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. I've got Netflix. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, PC will do a streaming box. Apparently, it sounds... I think they're looking for boomers who are like, eh? Does it get Antiques Roadshow on it? I like David Dickinson. He's good. I like him very much. I'll pay £30. Very reasonable for the satellite. And it goes to space, does it? A space signal, you say? That's incredible. 
That's fantastic. Does it go on a spaceship? How do you get the signal all the way up there? Probably a scamboozle. It was officially from London, England, which I assume is not some uh, Indian rerouting service, for sure. Hey, no worries, you got it. Be good, brother. Have a good lurkers. 30 pounds sterling. <laughs> cash. How much for cash? 30 quid. It's not made of money. That's more expensive than Disney Plus, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, so they want £360 a year for the streamy box. Yeah, I did watch some of them Indian call centre scam channels, but I've kind of lost interest in them. They've become a bit samey, and I know that sounds terrible considering what they are, but yeah. I, I enjoyed Kit Boga for a long time, but... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it kind of just, uh, I, I lost my way with it in a, from an entertainment standpoint. I'm still glad those guys are doing what they're doing, but uh, yeah. Oh, the stuff he does is great. It's no detriment to him. It's just uh, from an entertainment standpoint. It's, uh, not for me anymore. I've no doubt I'll go through a phase where it'll recommend. It was like the lockpicking lawyer. Sometimes it gets recommended and you do happen to be in the right mood because it seems like Google can read your mind sometimes. And you're like, oh, okay, I'll check one out. And then you're there for the next fucking three days watching someone open locks. <laughs> well, that's just kind of a... All right, nice flex deck. Nice flex. <laughs> Not true. Think how much blue balling scam focus could do with AI. I think some of them have done that now. Haven't some of them built AI programs that just keep uh, talking to them? I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's that is already a thing. I think I think I saw a YouTube video of that. Of somebody built an AI program to actually talk to them. Anything that stops them abusing the elderly, like particularly the elderly that they target. Some of, the, some of the ones I have heard are absolutely horrific. Where they're like, you're going to jail, old lady, and shit like that. Like, like they just don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, proper harassment. You asked it to write it in an essay. <laughs> I like the tech that Kit Boga used, though. Like, all the voice changes. And, uh, like green screen himself into a car and having the car sound effects like the guy so it's all fully believable of what's going on like the creative side of me would love to do it claim it to be your, uh, your father in an accident oh my god i just wanted to warrior guy to mop and now it's been 10 years it served you well though it'll serve served you well that's what matters and look what you've done now now you've got global friends. It's all worked out. We have found out about the uh, kangaroo whisperer. Ask him what he transferred for hospital bills. I'm always amazed at the real life ones. Who, who have an entire backstory about the kid who's dying in another town. And they need just 10p to get on the bus. And Like there's a whole like dramatization of going. And they're doing it in, in person to your face. That one in um, at Copenhagen Airport still blows my mind. Who'd obviously found a, a gift box of whiskey somewhere and was trying to like sell it to me because he was getting a job in Ukraine any minute and he had to stay at this place. For, but the, the car wasn't coming from in four days. And I've just sat listening to this guy tell this entire story of how he was now trapped at the airport for just four days and he's got to find a way to sleep somewhere, but he's got this whiskey. So would I like to buy the whiskey for the price of a hotel room? And a lot, I was like, dude, your story is so extravagant. Like, <laughs> I don't even know where we're going. Uh, I'm going to take a poop over power here. Uh, we need one more of these, right? Yeah, buddy! No, I can't hit in time. 
Ah, throat, throat. Ah. I was stuck in combat. I couldn't charge. F. It was not the terminal. The guy was stood outside the airport. Yeah, I was waiting for somebody. Uh, so we were near the train meeting place. Oh, these are all spawning and I can't tag them in time. F. Feel bad for me. Come on, spawn. Go on, you wouldn't. Oh, is that? Go, go, go. Got it. I heard about a scam by the stream and I bought a car. I think it'd be okay. Yeah. Next year, I will officially own that car. <laughs> Perfect. Well, never forget, vanilla quests are grimes to start, disguised as uh, quests. <laughs> they were not even supposed to be a quest. Were not even supposed to be a feature of this game in its development. So never forget that when you wonder why some of these quests are so freaking bad. Eat, eat. Nom, 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 nom. Elaborate stories about how I got this injury are utterly ridiculous. If it weren't illegal, I'd have recorded some of them for the lols. <laughs> That's uh, the most... Uh, I often find the most ridiculous ones are kind of more believable. It's only when the little logics break down, but if you have all the facts covered, it's not like I, would I lie to, lie to you. Oh, a milkshake? Dude, so I would do something fucking dirty right now for a banana milkshake. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna die. Run away. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Oh, that's two of them. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, shit. Um, I'm dead, right? I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I need to be out of combat, though, game. Uh, I have 10 health, game. Game. Oh no. Uh, please get me out of combat. Oh shit! Uh, oh, oh. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, we're good. Whoo! Uh. Oh, warm ups for hardcore guys. What? Just a warm up for hardcore. That's all that is. Just a warm up for hardcore. That's that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. That's just a warm up. Uh. All fine. All fine. Yeah, I assume Chris will want the heart rate monitor back Hola, for hardcore. Uh, how are you doing, Mike? Oh, we've actually finished the quest, though. Yay, we can leave. Oh, doing all right, Ray. How you doing, buddy? I'm having a 72 months, brother. Yeah, we're having a fine day. I didn't steal anything. What? Stitches. Stitches gonna get me. I don't think so. Yeah, man, I do want to do hardcore solo southbound. Um, I need to double check the rules on it, though. Like, can you not... Is it just you can't trade with other people? But you can still do dungeons or whatever? If, if so, that's fine. Uh, but I, I assume it's not locking off. It is called self-found, right? So I assume you could do everything but trade. But you can still do dungeons and shit. If that's the case, that's perfect. Because that was the rules we imposed on ourselves as well. I mean, we'll still keep some of the other rules we had, like dungeons only once or whatever. Hello. Because uh, I think that was a good addition. Need something? Oh, crap. I gotta go all the way up there. That's fair. You can only do dungeons with other solo uh, self-found people. Okay. No trading initially. Also, the rule of not being allowed to use quest rewards. 
See, that makes no sense to me. Oh, I mean, it does make sense southbound only, I suppose. Uh, see, I don't want that. So, yeah, quest rewards are, are worth. I mean, I'm fine with imposing the rules on myself if it's not quite the experience I'm after. What's the purpose of going, like, giga-zoomed out? I like uh, being able to see, like, certainly when hunting quest mobs that are really spread out in fields or whatever. Spot them from a mile away. I think we need a new heart rate monitor. It is here, but it came with some sort of proprietary charger. Uh, and I don't know where that charger is. It might be in the random cables box in the, in the storeroom. I don't know. I fucking hate people who give you proprietary chargers and shit. Like, just use a USB lead and stop wasting all our fucking time. Thank you. It's not Apple. It's uh, it's just one we got off Amazon. Good day to you. Not even a Billy Big Balls one. I did take it to the race world first because Gingy had the the one that Gingy had on during the uh, world first race was mine. Uh, it ran out of battery though. That was the problem. <laughs> we suggested putting them on the Raiders just uh, as a bit of extra stream footage. Yeah, that was mine. The one Gingy was wearing was mine. Uh, but eventually, because we had them on all day and we couldn't charge them, uh, it ran out of battery and we just had no way of charging the damn thing up. So far, I have the riddles for three mage runes, two hunter runes, and a druid rune. Alright, let's get, uh, uh, work with nubs to see if we can get them up as quickly as possible, right? Let's start spreading the good news. Uh, so people can, uh, start looking at them. No, 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 no. Sharing boob sweat. Uh, I have two heart rate monitors. The first one that Chris bought out of his own money, uh, because he wanted me to wear it, was one of those strappy chest ones, and it was awful. It was so uncomfortable and awkward. Uh, so I bought another one which goes on your forearm. So it's not um, It's nowhere near as bad Yeah, that one that goes across your chest is the worst the absolute worst uh, Smartwatch is a bit expensive for what we're doing with it. It's like uh, I think it's like I don't know 30 pounds for a heart rate monitor that just connects to your phone. I don't have a smartwatch. I am a fan of watches, but I do not own a, star, a, a smartwatch. And I have yet to desire one in any way, shape, or form. It has not been the dream. <laughs> uh, I'll do it myself. Didn't you quit? Well, <laughs> I think those days are mostly older, over, unless you're like some sort of hate monger. Yeah, I haven't got a smartwatch. Uh, Emma has a Fitbit, which I assume does the same, but I don't know if that connects to your phone. And I know Chris has a Fitbit as well, but... Considering we do share these things out, because I think we do want one at the next race to world first. Uh, probably just getting one with the charger. You got a smartwatch for Christmas, refund it, because my watch and phone are fine. Yeah, I don't get it, because I always have my phone on me, for the most part. I'm not great with my phone, but uh, I generally have my phone on me if someone really needs me. I haven't found the need for a smartwatch yet. Like, for me, the VR headset makes more sense than a smartwatch. Uh, but I'm sure there's wonderful uses for a smartwatch. Apparently, they have discovered, some people have discovered, like, they had heart problems. And uh, what's that shit when you're asleep and you can't breathe? You know, your breathing's all fucked up while you're asleep, but you don't know because you're asleep. Sleep apnea. Yeah, yeah. Apparently the smartwatches have detected a lot of people had sleep apnea who weren't aware of it and given them um, some cool heads up. That's dope. That kind of shit is awesome. 34? What a nerd. Fucking nerd. Thirty-four already. You're following some sort of leveling guide for sure. Can I get this quest now? What's the story with this quest? Watch your Dodds. Watch your Culford. Where's Watch your Dodds? Are these guys camping out for this quest or what? Oh, it's an escort mission. Pass. Pass. Hard pass. 
Not doing it. The lovely guide is literally farb stockades. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah I think so too. I think if I was really interested in tracking health things, a smartwatch would be a, 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 a good move. For sure. I'm not on some boomer crusade against them, that's for damn sure. I'm just saying, I don't want one just so I could put like a pit boy animation on the front. That's not my end goal. I so would though. <laughs> yeah, I assume there's quite a lot of cheap smartwatches out there now. I don't know how much, I imagine Apple's is the most expensive. What's it even called? The iWatch? Apple smartwatch. Uh, it's called the Apple Watch. Price guess for people who don't know. What's the price guess? I'll give you the name of it. Maybe that'll help. It is called the Apple Apple Watch Series Nine Smart Smarter Brighter Mightier. Oh, you guys are well overpricing, actually. Uh, well, it says from. Is this based on memory? So it's from £399. But that's got to be because it's missing accessories or something. The stainless steel version is £700. Motherfucker. £700 for a watch. Polished finish with a durable sapphire crystal display. That's a steal. Wait, and that's that's not the band, right? That's just the edge. Shit, I thought you never meant the strap. That's just the edging. And it's just this little bit. Right? It's not the band. It's just this bit. Motherfucker. Get forty-five pounds to three hundred twenty pounds for your trade-ins with apples. Monthly payments are available. I'm not looking for a smartwatch. I was just curious how much uh, Apple charge. Yeah, I, there's definitely way cheaper ones out there at this point. Your Fitbit was a hundred. Actually, cheaps to sleep. I like it. Yeah, but now you found out you've got a sleep problem, Chris. Because you keep waking up. <laughs> The watch has betrayed you, Chris. It has betrayed you. Opinion on Chinese Guild Skyline stepping down from world first raiding? Uh, uh, expected. Until they get an even closer release date, so they even have a realistic chance of doing some progress, uh, there's no world first scene in China, unfortunately. That's, uh, that's the unfortunate truth, is... They're not really in the running at all. They can put money into it and stuff and have representation. I mean, I, we want them... I mean, I, I say we. I want them to have representation in the race to world first scene, but it's not... They're not. They're, they're, they're competing for top 10 at best. Purely because of their, their inability to race it even remotely close at the same time. Yeah, the only realistic chance, which maybe they could have sent before um, giving up completely, would be to raid on the US realms. But again, the question always comes up, considering how important splits are. Because we love splits so much. And they require community intervention is, would they get any support on the US realms at all? Or in which case, if they don't get that, they're torpedoed before the thing even fucking starts. Uh, level 28. I'm going to turn these quests in before I try level 28. That sounds dumb. Let's put a little bit of a classic mindset in this. <laughs> yeah. 
I guess it depends on what your interest is in tracking that exercise, right? If you really want to... I, I mean, I've been, obviously, on a, a huge weight loss adventure. But I haven't got to the point of counting macros and things like that. But I probably should. Realistically. Even just for, like, a temporary period of time. Although I'm... I full CBA. Counting macros. I also am not sure how accurate those calorie burners are. Uh, you know the calorie trackers? I know somebody here has tried it, but like... Jerking off, right? Not to bring down the fucking conversation, but jerking off. Does your smartwatch pick that up as like going for a run or something? Because it really can't tell the difference, I wouldn't have thought. Like, as far as your watch is concerned... <laughs> it registers, yeah, the hand movement registers at steps, yeah. It detects the increase in the heart rate. When I can't track on my watch, I simply count like 30% of whatever it says. Okay. Uh, it can see the heart rate spike. So does it pick it up as a run? Like, obviously, I'm bigger. So I want to ask Good these questions morning, because preach. when VR Hope came your out. Day has been amazing so far. It has. Yeah, I've been sick and home for oh, no. work all week. But been great getting to lie in bed and watch your streams less than three. All hey, feel the best better, brother. Smile. Feel better for sure. When I when VR came out and I got it, the only question all of you had is what was VR porn like? And I don't watch porn. I'm not better than anybody, but I don't. I'm happily married, and everything's good. But I sat there and watched VR porn just to review it for you guys. I had to suffer through that. To give you my opinion. So now you smart watchers can tell me the calorie count on a jerk off. Right? That's a fair trade. I did have to science it. I did. Because it was the only thing anybody wanted to know about the damn thing. No one cared about any games or anything. It was like, what's the pawn like? And it was terrible, by the way. I want to be absolutely clear on that. It was fucking awful. It was garbage. That was our review. It was garbage. That wasn't just me. That was, well, Andy liked it. <laughs> In my opinion, it was trash because they had to put the cameras like... He must have been a giraffe man or something. It was just bizarre. Did you use VR only? Yes. Yes. 30 calories. Not bad. Use this. Hmm. Okay. You need something? Be careful. Right Didn't even use the milking machine. <laughs> uh, I personally am a huge fan of VR. VR, I, I think one of the biggest issues VR has to face is some people uh, well do feel sick in VR, depending on your constitution. Uh, and... Uh, it's all f it's also terrible for streaming and never gives a good impression of how good VR is but uh no I'm a, I'm a huge fan of VR uh, the price has come down pretty dramatically now um we had very mixed views so what I did is that uh, one of the preach cons uh, I set up a VR area so people could come and mess around on VR uh, I think we had them playing the blue where you walk on the bottom of the ocean it's a wonderful one um and it was the same thing. Some people absolutely adored it and like were like, I, I'm getting VR as soon as I possibly can. And some people were like, uh, it's, it's, some people actually thought it was too much. Which was an interesting piece of feedback I got from Seepal is it was too overwhelming for them. Like it was, it was almost too real. Uh, certainly if people had any, uh, any issues like that. Hey there. I don't get any... I get sickness in flying games. Um, I've only tried... I tried, I think, War Thunder or something like that in VR. Like, flying games make me feel sick. Nothing else does. Just, just flying games. That's the only thing. Everything else I'm totally fine with. Oh my god. What is this fucking... Oh, gooey spider legs. Uh, skeletal horrors. Okay. Cool. I thought the zone was over and it's not. Skeletal fiends are over there, though. Alright, we need to start a hearthstone here. Yeah. 
Like Half-Life Alex is an experience I would love everybody to have in their life. Like Half-Life Alex. There is, is no so VR porn yet that works on the Apple Vision Pro because it uses a proprietary yeah, Apple only format that no right. studio supports yet because there was no need to. Oh, interesting. As we know historically, need porn help. is the trendsetter of especially new technologies like that. Pawn is the one that usually has all the power. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no getting away from it. Oh, ogres. Cool. I had this that issue with Half-Life Alex. The dead bodies were kind of triggering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, That could absolutely happen. I, I think it's one of the saddest things ever is we're not really getting good VR horror anymore because they've already pushed it to the limits of what's safe to put out to the general public. All right, I'm going to go for a pee, guys. I'm going to go for a pee pee. Uh, I'll burb. I'll burb. Porn is the power bottom of the video tech world.
Ready, L U Y, the floor monster. Ready to rock. Let's go. Oh God. Got him. I helped. Stitch is dead. That was all me, baby. Carried. You can thank me later. That's the quest they were all waiting for. You have to follow, kill, get stitches here or something. Got it. Hey, Weiss, thank you for the 27 months, man. Thank you very much. Pawn is the power bottom. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thanks, Braggart. I was, I was trying to help. I don't ever see spooders around here. Meowdy to you. Yeah, I'm super hyped for Dawn Trail now. What are we going to do with the Dawn Trail release? I think my game plan right now is... Uh, so you probably do Pictomancer on day one and do the MSQ, the MSQ about a week or so later, something like that. I think that's my current plan. Is there more of these to the south? No, they're only here. Okay. Uh, a week or something like that. Yeah, not not too long, though. I'm not going to leave it forever. Well, if the queues are so big we can't log in, then we have a stream party. There's no problem with that. We are going to throw a pre-dawn trail release party, though. I feel like that's our next big party is to do that. I think we throw one big blowout to uh, Endwalker. Uh, I mean, the chat being ahead of the MSQ is always variable. Like, on the one hand, there's a lot of people who watch from work and don't really get to game that much. Hello to you workers out there, our lurkers in the chat who are currently working away, hackermanzing. Got the stream on in the background. Big love to you guys, but, um... Hello! <laughs> Hello, lurkers. I know you're there. I know you're chilling, getting work done, and down. So, I always want to respect uh, their position who can't game during the day. Uh, like, you say, oh, a week's plenty. It is if you can play for quite extended periods of time during the day, but a lot of people can't. So, maybe two weeks, something like that. Hi, guys. Love you guys. You're the best. Really do. Always try to plan around you guys more than uh, the chatting ones in the chat. Not to disrespect the chatting ones, but we do try and plan most things around you guys who probably don't get to game as much as you'd like. Get fucked, chatting ones. <laughs> get fucked. Try, try my best to do that. I do my best. You're lurking for an overnight job in NA. It's almost 6 a.m. and off to work soon. I get it, dude. Rat I get it. Rat jam. Oh, Rat fish. Thank jam. you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I'm not going to give you a WWE song yet, though, Irvish. That's not happening. I'm holding on that. I'm setting a 10 sub limit at the moment before anything's set in stone. Or oh, someone who's like over 100. They'll get a song. I don't know what the rules are going to be and if we can even pull it off. There's one somewhere. I've targeted it. Where is it? Is it behind? It's alive somewhere. Where is it? Oh, someone tagged it. Oh, it was over there in the trees. Mother trucker. What song would yours be? Uh, I don't know. Boris and Lion already claimed a song. You've already had a song, John. You've had one. No, we can't use Brock Lesnar's music and we can't use Vince McMahon's music. Those are off limits right now, dude. And for the foreseeable fucking future. Unless everything in there comes out as bullshit. Unlikely. That man's legacy is long dead at this point. Long dead. Rat jam. Rat jam. Rat jam. <laughs> Till you were in a tag team earlier. Uh, I do think you deserve your own one, though. Oh, God. What would Turtle's individual song be? The Turtle and Fish. The Turtle and Fish. The happy turtle makes sense, but it's not fitting the theme. What would your request be? I, is, is it more fun if I choose it? Oh, probably. 
Hmm. Uh, no, I don't actually watch any wrestling. <laughs> I just keep up with the news and I listen to podcasts. Can I have a turtle made it to the water? As it's, I don't recall a, an epic moment of that. Oh god, this druid is fucking hard trolling everybody. You stupid starfire thing. Uh, oh, sure, Vogue. Uh, oh, hang on. I need to see WWE theme song playlist. Oh, I know who you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you are. If we can request the song, can we all get you singing Dolly and Dot? Yeah. This would be my turtle and fish song. One of the most regular, most consistent heroes of the chat. Hi Mike, I'm completely out of the loop with WoW after I stopped playing a few years ago. Got you, dude. I just rediscovered you as my interest in WoW grew again. How comes you're leveling a new char? Uh, oh, this is... Uh, oh, wow, you are out of the loop. Uh, this is something called uh, Season of Discovery. It is based in the classic version of the game, but the rules are different. Uh, so it released in seasons. So season one was capped out at level 25. Season two launched last night. Uh, so it's 25 to 40 now. And what they've given you is a sandbox of playgrounds where you get all sorts of augments for your character from the modern game, from retail, and from new ones they've created that augment your classic character uh, into different playstyles and fun. So, like, priests get penance, and druids get all sorts of stuff. Mages got a bunch of wacky stuff. Hunters got some weird and wonderful stuff. Um, and you discover these by finding runes, which are new content added to the game. Uh, so you'll find, uh, like, clues and items that you, you don't know what they do, and then you follow through with trying to puzzle solve it and figure it out, and you'll get some new spell or augment for your character to go along with it. And they've also remade uh, some raids. So in Season 1, Black Fathom Deeps was now a raid uh, that you could go and do, 10-man raid. And this time, it's Gnome Regan has been turned into a raid. A level 40 raid with epics and things that didn't exist. So I've got a few bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, I got some really, like high level blues and things like that. So that's what we're playing right now is Season Discovery Season 2. So now you know. Dolly and Dot are my best friends. They pull my wagon through the dudes of sand. This is a test. We don't need to overhear that again. That was a long time ago in a different era. <laughs> that was a long time ago. The internet never forgets, Mike. The internet never forgets. The best memory in the world is the internet memory. And I need to remember that. Ah! Fuck, man. Spawn low one solo spot. Go, 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 go. Got it. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to hear that again, or do we, lol? No, we don't. No, we don't. God damn it. Who gave the paladins holy shock? Fucking taggers. God fucking damn it, dude. Hey, Russ, how you doing? <laughs> hey. Big shout out to the wonderful Russ in the chat. How you doing, brother? Your walk up music would be Benny Hill Yakety Sax. <sighs> Turtle Fish strikes again. Dolly and Dot are my best friends. They pull my wagon through the dudes of sand. I don't even feel like playing your theme song, Turtle, at this point, because you knew what you were doing and it was upsetting. You knew exactly what you were doing. You don't deserve... In fact, you don't deserve a theme song. You get no theme song. I've taken it away. 
You've been stripped. You're being stripped of your theme song. I am well, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm really excited for this whole year. Like, it's... Uh, it's good times. I gotta be honest, it's so nice being back here in the studio. Like, it's such a change of mental for me. I hated working here. Dolly and Dot are my best friends. They pull my wagon through the dudes of sand. Can we change that, please? So that disappears. Dolly and Dot are my best friends. They pull my wagon through the dunes of sand. Thank you, King James. Goldberg. Goldberg. Who's Kane? I don't know. I consider Kane to be one of the best theme songs ever. I don't know who Kane would be. Yeah, I have no idea who qualifies as I have Kane. said it before, and I'll say it forever. Chris deserves a raise. <laughs> Chris isn't even here today. He's sat at home, hard chilling. Oh, quest complete. Are you done as well, Borg? Oh, I think you are. Hey, GG, dude. See why, Borg? Edge's theme song sucks. You know whose theme song really sucks, though? Really, really sucks? CM Punk's. Fucking garbage. It's awful. It's fucking awful. It has no riz. The band is great. As a song, it's great. I'm just saying it's a terrible entrance song. I'm not disputing that the song is good. The song is great, but like as a theme song, it's terrible. Awful. What's my theme song? Uh, I am no better. If I had the tapes of my wrestling days, I, I actually can't remember what I used to have as a theme song. I think I had Davidian for a while, but it was too long. Yeah, I think I had Davidian for a while, but it was definitely too long. So I think we edited the songs, so it was like way, way shorter. Way, way shorter. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, the intro's too long, right? You'd, like, that's why Stone Cold has got one of the best entrance songs of all time. The glass shattering is all you need to hear. The rest of the song doesn't even matter. Like, in terms of an impactful entrance song, Stone Cold's is the best of all time, I think. Not the disturbed version, the original version. I did, I did DC CM Punk's return. I... I don't think I've ever seen so many people in one place simultaneously lose their fucking minds so quickly. Like, I it, to set up that moment and to have that crowd react that way is just one of the most absurd things I've ever seen. They, like, nearly ripped that place apart when that happened. And he didn't even do anything. He just stood in the entranceway. <laughs> just the fact that he was there. I've never watched wrestling when CM Punk was a part of it, so he really doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, I was long out of it by that point, but... Uh... Oh, the WWE one. Like, if you've not... Even if you're not a fan of wrestling, like, this response... I mean, it was one of the most watched things of all time, right? It was... Uh... Wasn't it watched something like 20 million times in two days or something? It was actually ridiculous.
Yeah, they've re-uploaded this multiple times. Like, this is one of, like, four re-uploads of this video, and this one's back at 9 million. It was actually absurd. Right, to give context, this is the end of the show. They even put up the, like, adverts because the show was over. Uh, and this is just, like, the, the this is the camera shot of the arena ending. So they left it till the very, very, very... Like, they actually thought the show was over when this happened. Fire. Yeah, I've heard the pipe bomb. I have. I've heard it. And I also know it was scripted. Which, obviously, it was. Like, I don't know. I, I guess it must have been... A, if you were there at the time and it felt genuine... I imagine I would have felt probably as big as most people felt about the pipe bomb, but... Uh, oh, what's level 29? Uh, I mean, I imagine you were watching Dan when that was happening, right? Like, so were you into CM Punk? Because that was when I was gone. I was gone by that point. Like, this, I missed all the CM Punk Batista era. I was gone by then. You're a huge fan? Yeah, I can't appreciate his work yet, because the only time I've ever seen him do anything, he wrestles like shit. So... No, I'm not a fan of his in-ring in -ring work. Let's put it that way. Oh, not everything is staged. There's a really good moments where it's not staged, and it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the best. When it's... The non-stage stuff is really good. Uh, oh, God. The level 29 is killing me. Am I dead? Maybe. Okay, a hunter shot it. That might have saved me. Oh, that's two of them, though. That's not good for me. Oh, that's three of them. Oh, we're dead. That's two level 29s. That's a miss of the hamstring. That's a parry of the hamstring. That's a miss of the hamstring. That's a hamstring. Oh, we are super dead. Uh, not dead. Perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> Hardcore is a year-long project. I wouldn't be here on Hardcore. To be clear. Uh, me and Emma watched uh, the Royal Rumble 2022, the women's one. It was recommended on YouTube. Uh, and Emma was like, can we watch it? Because she just wanted to rate their outfits. I was down. She did not like many of the outfits. She disapproved. Did I? Uh, yeah, of most of them. I didn't think they were particularly good. Uh, all the girls are attractive. There's no doubt about that. But uh, like from an actual like attire point of view, you got to remember, I train to be a wrestler. I, I don't look at it really as a fan. Like their ring work was fucking horrendous for the most part. Like really, really bad. I was actually kind of shocked as to how bad it is because I, I haven't watched the show in a really long time. I was kind of amazed at how bad the ring work was. I, I had questions from it. There was a girl who had uh, hair that was down to the floor. Uh, obviously not real hair, but it was like hair that was down to the floor. I was like, how the fuck do you keep that shit on? Uh, and she explained to me that it's made of wool. Uh, so it's actually very, very light. It just dangles. But uh, those kind of things are made out of wool. Please stop dazing me. We're strafing, we're strafing, we're strafing. Please stop shadow bolting me from miles away. Let's be fr- Oh, fuck off, man. That's level 30. Oh, where am I? Oh, it's gotten so much worse. Oh, we're dead. Okay, I strafed into really the wrong place. Oof. First death of the day. There it is. There are some extremely good female wrestlers, but uh, I think they want many uh, so they could do things like a Royal Rumble and have a, a, a strong roster is what it looks like to me. This is very off a brief look of the Royal Rumble. Um, oh, I'm not even getting out of here. This is horrible. We're going to die again trying to get out of this fucking place. Uh, so there was, there's just a ton of like filler spots 
is what it looked like to me. It was just a lot of filler spots. They were with the guys as well. Like, I don't know. Things have changed in that industry from when I was trying to be a part of it. I think story's more important these days than the actual in-ring work. Is what it looks like to me. There are definitely people in both of them that I was like, I'm kind of amazed you're on the card. How do we get out of here? We follow the yellow brick road. Right, I think we could cut across here now. As long as we don't go into this pit of death here. No, I wouldn't do a match anymore. No. <laughs> no, no. I have suffered enough minor injuries to know that I'm not doing that. No, thanks. No thanks. I did my bit when I was a younger boy, and I could, I could, uh, I could have my neck squished, and it wasn't the end of the world. I still have a sore back from like two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm not doing that now. What was my wrestling name? It was Hawat. <sighs> from my love of uh, the Dune novels. H A W A T. Exactly. I'm not saying it was a good name. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, man. Yes, the Mentats. Yes. To say her what? Yes. Hey, I never went pro. I never went pro. Okay. I did all the training, but after seeing how many people of the old guard that were coming to train us were all in wheelchairs or fucking limping like they had needles in their shoes, uh, I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to pursue this. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think I'm good. I, th I think I'll, uh, I'll stop there because, yeah. Oh, does the tree mean nothing? The tree means nothing. Okay. Oh, it certainly did, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm dead again! This place is horrible! What is this fucking place? Right, note for hardcore. Never come here. It's got a shadow bolt me. I'm fucked. Fucking hell, this place is terrible. This is awful. You tried a wheelchair for an office chair, spent the same amount of time in either. Yeah, but the fact is, I could get up whenever I want. I could touch my toes. Easy game, easy claps, right? I can turn. This is better. Right? Hey, if you don't. Mike, if you're gonna play with the puppies, could you at least bring them treats? They're peckish and seem to want to eat you. They do. Uh, let's kill this guy. We pick off the ones on the outside, the weak ones. Jesus Christ, Ric Flair. If you don't know how dangerous long-term rest is, Hulk Hogan used to be 7 foot 12. But because he did his leg drop so many times, he's only 5 feet tall now. You don't know. You don't know. Really bad. Gotta be careful. Of course it's true. Everything Hulk Hogan says is true. You know he once wrestled 400 days a year? He was flying backwards and forwards through time zones from Japan and the US so often that he was actually wrestling the same day multiple times. 
I, I wish I was making that up for stream entertainment. That's actually a quote from Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have, Daddy. You watched it. Did you see the one where he's um, he's telling the story of how him, Michael Jackson, and Mr. T were hanging out in Webley Stadium, uh, and uh, he did a Make a Wish for a. What is going on here? What is this nightmare? And they did a Make a Wish for a kid who stank uh, and then died later that night. <laughs> He never used steroids either. Well, he had to admit that after the steroid trial, unfortunately. He had to own up to that one. He had to own up to it. No, Hulk Hogan keeps making up these stories. These stories come directly from the horse's mouth. Like, you don't need to make up stories about Hulk Hogan. He'll just tell you one. He'll just he'll just tell you this... Biz he's just come up with the most random shit ever. Like, that he was... Um... Oh, the, uh, what was the latest one? Uh, he's responsible for Simon Cowell coming to the US. But he didn't know that, did you? But he didn't know that, but Simon Cowell being involved in the US is uh, because of Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I, 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 I might be misquoting some of the story here, but uh, at a certain point, uh, he wanted to do a, uh, an album. Uh, with Cindy Lauper. Um, so he calls Cindy Lauper, who had been involved in wrestling for a while, uh, and then they, they called Simon Cowell because they heard he was pretty good because they happened to be in the UK, and then that song went to number one in like 60 countries. But he also had a musical history because he'd been in a, a number one rock band a couple of times. No, I'm good, Bog. You go chill, man. Go do what you're doing. Uh, this is SOD. Hardcore, we're doing... Uh, we are doing hardcore, but not today. You little ginger mint. He was also going to be in Metallica. That's a big true. Yeah, yeah, with his daughter. I remember the TV show. Yeah, with his daughter. Because she was going to be a huge music star, if I remember right. Mod check, huge music star. Any second now. Any second. Straight to number one. One of these days. Yeah. One of these days. And apparently his t-shirt shop that he's got was run by some huge, like, anti-vax guy. And it nearly went out of business because everybody who went in there, he went on this anti-vax tirade. <laughs> it's all sorts of weird shit. Who's the most batshit insane wrestler? Vince doesn't count. Oh, the Ultimate Warrior. That guy is a fucking lunatic. Like a legitimate lunatic. New Jack's not insane. He was quite open and honest about how psychotic he was. <laughs> I wouldn't class New Jack as insane. He was uh, he was quite logical about the things that were a part of him. Ric Flair was never insane. Ric Flair was just a playboy for his entire life. And managed to survive, which is fucking baffling. When you hear the stories about the shit Ric Flair got up to. I think Ric Flair has had more cocaine up his nose than the snow that covers Everest. Chris Benoit went insane, which is really, like, excruciatingly tragic. Like, one of the most painful moments in any wrestling fan's history was that day. Now, I've never seen the pictures of what his brain looked like, but all the descriptions when they did the autopsy was that his brain was just like fucking milkshake. So sad. Eddie Guerrero was steroids that killed him. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero died from steroid use. Enlarged heart from steroid use. Another sad, sad waste. 
super sad waste. Yeah, tragic, super tragic. Uh, no, Hulk Hogan's wife, after she divorced Hulk Hogan, married uh, her son's friend, is what happened there. That's Yeah, you're conf confusing the story a little bit. Hulk Hogan was the one who got caught fucking his friend's wife uh, with his permission. Apparently, that it was like he's like a DJ who enjoys celebrities fucking his wife. All right. Yeah, swingers. I mean, if they're both fine with it, whatever. Not my problem. I'm not here to judge if they're both okay with it. It is what it is. <laughs> not my cup of tea. Uh, he also dropped a bunch of slurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went on some racist thing. And then he uh, he got defamed. He, he got thingy shut down though, didn't he? That like uh, world star site. Because they said so much shit about him. Gawker? I want to say Gawker. Yeah, Gawker. He got that. Web he took so much money off them, they had to go bankrupt. And then recently, apparently, saved someone from a car wreck. That happened last week. Owen Hart was horrible. Yeah, I was watching the pay per view that Owen Hart died in. That was uh, that was rough. That was rough. Oh, wrestlers get up to all sorts of shit. Like, uh, I remember a story <laughs> where Raven and Perry Saturn were staying in some hotel, uh, and they, the groupies, for, this this is not my terminology, by the way. I think this is horrible terminology, but the groupies for wrestlers, the girls who follow wrestlers around to fuck them, are called ring rats. Uh, and they had two regular ring rats because they were kind of extreme and fun. And they were always up for anything. So what they decided to do was build a slip and slide in the hotel corridor uh, where Perry Saturn sellotaped a dildo to his head and the girl was at the end of it and slip and slide into it. <laughs> and then apparently the hotel manager came up because a lot of people were complaining and got them kicked out of the uh, hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on, man. This rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of glorious. Like, if everybody's up for it, no one's getting abused. They're all down for it. Yeah, it's it's like just, just so absurd. There's no malice or anything involved in it in any way. I only found about this in the last probably seven years. This is not what, what, what it's made me want to be a pro wrestler, no. Oh, it's really dumb. Yeah, it's super dumb, but, like, they're, they're just having fun. I mean, why not? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how you get to that conversation being like, you know what we should do? <laughs> I want to see the level of escalation so it rises that point. Did the girls suggest it? Did they find the dildo and they had a slip and slide? And like, huh, <laughs> you know what we could do? Like, I don't know how they, how they get to that stage, but, yeah. Just bants in it. It's just, just bants. Just something to do. Guys on the road. Fucking 320 days a year. That's what they're getting up to. A lot of drugs. Yeah. A lot of drugs. A lot of drugs. A lot of wild nights. No, I don't know why Blizzard doesn't have me on the screens on the campus. How are you? Nagura's up there though. She's she's safe. She's safe. She's good. Nagura could go on the screens. I'm not. Uh, I'm not allowed. <laughs> At least we know audio on. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I don't need these. I need spooders. Get out of here, baby. True, the bum chin has never served me well. My kids are going to have to deal with it, as well as being ginger. Poor bastards. My kids are really lucky. They're born into an era where ginger is acceptable. 
And not only acceptable, seemingly encouraged. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, like, in the circles they're growing up in, it, the gingerness is a huge win. Different times, man. Different times. They both had multiple girlfriends by this point. Although, <laughs> my son recently, my oldest son recently dumped his girlfriend. I actually kind of don't blame him. So she was very fond of calling him uh, to have a video chat. And he regularly would come out of these calls like, I really don't get why she keeps ringing me. She has nothing to say. And she just kind of wants to talk. And he's been getting more and more frustrated with this, with girls that he's encountering going forward. It's like, she just calls me to talk, but she has nothing going on. Uh, and then he came out and said, Dad, I had to dump the girl. I had to, I'm not dating her anymore. I went, why? What happened, mate? And he went, she called me again. I was like, oh, was she boring? And he went, it wasn't that. She called me to watch her do her makeup. And I've been there for over an hour, and all my friends are playing Fortnite. And I just couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm right there with you, son. I'm right there. Emma thought it was ridiculous. Emma's like, no, she just wants to spend time with you. I'm like, fuck off, Em. That's not happening. Emma thought he'd been really mean. She just wants to spend time with you. My ass, dude. My ass. Fuck that. I can't stand the no point conversation. The no point conversation, you're calling the wrong dude. Don't call me with nothing to talk about. Like, just to talk. Like, I'm not that guy. Don't call me. I can't do it. I can't do the no point conversation. No way. One thing to do makeup and sharing with each other, another just to have a captive audience. Yeah, so I was like, what did, what did she do? She's like, well, she put the iPad or whatever near her mirror. And then she didn't even speak, Dad. She was literally like doing a makeup, so her mouth was like this. I was like, so she didn't even speak sometimes for what felt like it forever. <laughs> She's just doing a makeup. <laughs> She's out. She's gone. She's out. My son is more patient than me, but his patience is getting shorter, and it's not his fault. It's not his fault. His patience is, pro is going to end up where my patience is, and it's not his fault. It's not his fault. He started as a patient boy. He started as a patient boy, but it's being ground out of him, man. It's being worn down like sandpaper. It's just, just grating away. Cause I, I, I mean, I couldn't help it. I went, just like, say you're busy and go. My boy was born impatient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna go to zero. Like, I ain't got time for this, which I'm fine with. Like, yeah, I, I ain't doing this. Not happening. Sorry, not happening. He was busy in his in his eight year old world. He had Fortnite to play, and all his friends are waiting for him. It's like there's a raid waiting. Boy's got shit to do. Those levels aren't gonna grind themselves, baby. Yeah, eight-year-olds do makeup. Yeah, they're pissing about with some basic makeup sets. Sure, it's not weird. Not like they don't play dress up from being really little. Zaconics, thank you so much for the 10 gifties. Hey, you were in a team earlier. I don't know what your solo theme is. Oh, I know what Zaconic is. Ooh. What country are you from, Zaconics? It's important. If you don't mind sharing, obviously, you don't have to tell me. I think I know, but I might be wrong. Liverpool. Okay. 
Who's the most Liverpudlian? Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. It's the closest resemblance I could think to Liverpool. Hundred percent. Mexico is the Liverpool is the Mexico of the UK. A hundred percent. That's just the truth. That's what that is. Thank you so much, Sakonics. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. It's a big number one. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. <laughs> I want to spat my drink. No, Manchester is the uh, Cambodia of the UK. At least in the end. My best friend, Seriously, thank my you so much for the five, man. Sense. Thank you. Right, I'm changing that theme. I know how to do it, Christopher. Okay, our list of TTSs on subs. Suck 12 dicks. Emma might be a whore. Emma dick on breath. Suck a dick protein. Old Italian grandma. You're so old. Fist officer. Eat your daughter? Gonna eat your daughter. Oh. Washing my pits. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. Yeah, I don't think we ever need to see that again. What a pathetic bitch. <laughs> okay, we can have that for a while. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, of the choices we have, that's the least offensive. <laughs> It's really kind of bad. Of all the choices I have at my disposal, that is the least offensive. <laughs> Release the soundboard. Unleash the soundboard. Washing my pits. Washing my pits. This is the song I sing when I'm washing my pits. We're all good. We're all set. I don't need to be offended 24 hours a day. It's not helpful to any of us to be in that situation. You understand that crew? I think I'm going to be a devil, you know? Pepe Ga shower washing my pits. Pepe Ga shower washing my pits. Pepe Ga shower. This is the song. Pepe Ga shower when I'm washing my tits. Pepe Ga shower. You stuck a tits in there. Fix it, Chris. You did. You, you snuck a tits in there. I want a milkshake. I've got a real hankering for a milkshake. I don't think I can have just a milkshake, though. What are these flavors? I want a banana milkshake. And they're now all... Everyone's trying to be so fucking special all the fucking time. Instead of just a standard milkshake. Bubblegum Millions. Mocha Mudslide. Get Baked. Tropical Breeze. PB&J. The Nut Milkshake. The Infamous Trio. Oreo, Biscoff, and Peanut Butter. Gross. The Simply Gooey Brownie Milkshake. Simple's Gooey Chocolate Brownie Shake is 
filled with triple chocolate fudge sauce and a special freshly baked brownie which is broken up into the milkshake. That sounds like absolute disgusting. Skittles rainbow milkshake. Skittles sour rainbow milkshake. Skittles wild berry milkshake. And then no normal flavors. They literally don't have a normal flavor. Like, not one. So, fuck you. What about the next place? Amadeo Burgers and Shakes. What the fuck is a smash burger? Is that where they just... I mean, that sounds like you just smash it up. Is it in drinks? Yes, I'd like one diabetes, please. Yeah. Fuck, man. Thank you. <laughs> Two OG, an OG milkshake. All right, we might get lucky. I just want banana. That's all I want. Ferrero Rocher milkshake. Kinder Bueno cake shake. This is ridiculous. OG milkshakes, the downtown shake, strawberry gelato, Ferrero Rocher, a flake, strawberry and chocolate sauce. The Vice City milkshake, it's a winner milkshake. The Hollywood milkshake, a whisper gold, a lion bar, peanut and Nutella sauce. actually put me off. I've lost interest. I can't read all that shit. Can't we just... Why not? If you're gonna do those fucking funky ass flavors, just throw the normal ones in as well for us old people who don't want to fucking eat a cake inside of a milkshake. <laughs> Mix them all and make a tier list. That's the worst sub goal ever. Mike sits and has disgusting milkshakes and rates them. Mmm. <laughs> Content. <laughs> Get some cinnamon rolls instead. M H H H M cinnamon rolls. Remember when you drowned a child in acid for cinnamon rolls? We do. I don't mind the McDonald's one, but let's face facts. They're not exactly n well made. I was hoping for, like, a better quality one from someone who gives a shit. Than what comes out of that banana machine in fucking McDonald's, right? I don't mind the McDonald's Mike, milkshake. The God of Murder ordered an old people but if I've got to actually have a milkshake, and I haven't had one in a really, really long time, I want a nice one. This is my Friday treat. I haven't got treat night this week. There's no treat night, so this was my Friday treat, and they've ruined it by filling it with fucking biz. I don't know how to make a milkshake. <laughs> how do I make a milkshake? Get your facts right. How do I make a banana milkshake? I mean, it's milk and ice cream, I know that, but like, do we get like fresh bananas in it, or do we use like a banana dessert powder? Get a blender for the office and make own damn banana shake, you clown. Hmm. Why do I feel like it won't be banana -y enough with real bananas? There is something to be said for synthetic flavoring, because it's usually stronger. Like, if it's not a really strong step banana one, flavor, I'm going to be milk. pissed. Step two, shake. Not fucking difficult. Clown. Banana extract. Use bananas and Nesquik banana powder. See, I don't know about Nesquik banana powder. Get banana ice cream. Smart. Actual smart. Banana flavor is gross. What the fuck? Say, first you don't like cheese, and now you don't like bananas either. What the fuck? Bigger true. <laughs> Who doesn't like banana? Say that, I'm talking to a bunch of people who apparently hate coconut, which is fucking ridiculous.
Apparently, coconut is bad. Coconut is awesome. Fuck coconut. Strawberries own bananas. Oh, a strawberry banana smoothie. Mm. I'm getting hungry. I should eat something. We'll do this quest. I will eat one of my mini sandwiches. My stomach is... As you can see, it started to overtake my brain. In a big way. My brain is leaning towards, like, disgusting things. This is like not having sex for ages. Your brain just goes, You know what's happening? I am gonna live up here all day. Gimme. Oh, coconut and banana together. Has anyone recommended Pods. Plague Tale to you yet? We played Plague Tale. I think, Tale. I think the bots are on the um, and chat would love it for. I think it's on reasons. the bots channel. Rat Jam. But yep, yeah, we've done a Plague Tale. We haven't done the sequel yet. It's not super high on my list. Right, it's something I definitely consider playing in some downtime. Although I want to finish Faster Than Light and this uh, uh, this War of Mine. This War of Mine really kind of captured something. I want to mess around more with this war of mine. I want to do a proper survival mode with multiple people. Oh, really, Reels? Well, yeah, Twitch has noticed that too. I remember that was part of our uh, meeting. It's like, what are you guys doing with bits? Because you like, the highest bit channel in Europe. <laughs> well... You see, mostly it's people being offensive towards me, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I can't really describe how we got here, but where we are is uh, often... I mean, don't, do you know what it's like to be blind? <laughs> this is real big work on that. Ch oh, Pressia, chocolate is the worst. Have you ever tasted a chocolate milkshake? It's the worst thing ever. So bitter and nasty and thick and gross. Ugh. Man, chocolate milkshake is some repugnant shit. Oh, don't give me that look. There's no way if you had the choice between vanilla, strawberry, banana, and chocolate ice cream, you would choose chocolate. That's fucking insane. That's fuck that's messed up. I don't get what you mean. The rat hasn't insulted you in quite a while. I can't believe the rat is dead. <laughs> Should be. I would have... Uh, if I had to choose a trio out of that, vanilla, strawberry, and banana. I would give more gifted subs, but a certain mean, bald, poor, mercunian acid pouring man stopped the cool gifted bits soundbite. You know, oh, you got, it's like this extortion in a way. If you put the sound effect back, then you'll have more money to pay the staff with. If you take it, like, on the chin. Well, I'm happy with uh, the way things are. Thank you. Thank you. You rate Banana Mez as the lowest. Your theme tune is changing real quick. It's changing real fucking fast that you would rate... But Scripe! Banana eye cream not like this. Are you fucking out of your mind, Scripe? Like, what has turkey done to you? There is no fucking way that you of all people rate chocolate above banana. There's no fucking way. Don't do this to me, Scripe. Banana low tier? He's not right. He's so wrong. Ah, oh, keeping his fucking mouth shut now. I see. I see. Keeping his fucking mouth shut. I see. Understood. Understood. I get it. Don't side with Scribe. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Talking about a guy when quality Chinese food arrived in Sweden. He said, "What's that smell?" And said, "Nobody Time bring that near me." Some <laughs> He was not incorrect. It stank. <laughs> Absolutely stank. Get that out of the building. Do not bring it anywhere near me. 
<laughs> Appropriate, actually. Oh, oh, that food was horrible. Hey, you know it's bad when you're kind of craving lingonberries and you're like, dude, is this lingonberries coming? Still, it gave us precious moments. There was a day when there was broccoli. And it was like the first time I saw Jesus. Like a light shone through the window. I could, s I really felt like I could see heaven. I was like, maybe God is real. And there is vegetables. It can happen. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. Lingonberries are fine. Just not all the time, but... I've never craved lingonberries. Especially after Jesse went and bought, like... Four boxes of lingonberries or whatever it was. Uh, we're gonna die. I'm, not, I'm gonna die to level 20s like an absolute core. We use coolies. In my dreams right now, I have uh, a potion, but we're fine. Gamer. Easy. <laughs> Chinese food is great. Chinese food is rapidly becoming my number one food of the moment. If I could have a cheat meal right now, it would be Chinese, baby. Mm. I wouldn't even have a main course either. I'd just have a whole fucking spattering of starters, yeah? There'd be prawns over here, some ribs over here, some spring rolls over here. It'd just be a whole fucking fiesta. Oh, you down, Pauline? Get down here. We'll go for a Chinese tonight. Yeah. Treat you proper like a princess. You're definitely not there as an excuse for me to go for a Chinese. Yeah, Chinese tapas. That's the play. That's the play. Mm. We had a meze recently. Well, not recently, a few weeks ago. Uh, it was also glorious. Team Greece represent. Chinese takeaways are hit and miss. If you find a good one, stick with it. Until it goes downhill, then you have to begin the search again. Emma has a very, very strict judging process when it comes to whether we ever get a takeaway. They don't have to make much of a mistake for Emma to shut that shit down immediately. Not a big fan of Chinese dumplings. I don't like the coating, generally speaking. Not a huge fan. Yeah, you know that sort of translucent skin? I'm not sure what it's called. Te oh, the texture's always a bit slimy for me. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Yeah, like the rice dough or whatever. Oh, hang on. If this is another advertisement, I'll, uh, I'll play it over screen. Hello? Hello? No worries, bye. Is it even possible in 2024 to dial a wrong number? Doubt. He claims that's what he did. What was my previous favorite food? Italian. Italian all the way. I have a I have a garlic fixation. I love me some garlic. I love me some cheese. If I'm gonna go all I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get if I'm gonna fatten up for a night. Give me that sweet Italian taste, baby. Mmm. my best friend. Tea addict! Thank you so much! And with a name like Tea Addict. My best friends, they pull my wagon through the dudes of sand. Dolly and Dot are my best friends, they pull my wagon through the dudes of sand. The rest of you are just doing it because you've got your fucking... <laughs> Alright, targets is... 
Tom gets this. Legend. Big hero. Big hero. Rock and roll, Tom. Thank you so much for the 10. Turtle, go fuck yourself. Because you only did it because of that. I know why you did it. You had dark intentions. You had dark intentions. You've got darkness that fills your heart, sir. You want nothing but chaos. I know what's going on. You're in league with King James. You're both representative of chaos. You come from the void. You want hate and misery. <laughs> see? Next time I'm joining King James, see? I know where it comes from. I can read it. You were a rat, but you're a rat in disguise. You're a you're a rhino. You're a rat in name only. Fucking rhino. Spotted turtle. Spotted and spied. Scooped. Fucking rhinos all over this place. They're not real rhinos. They're team chaos in disguise. Chaos will rule the world. It won't. These fucking spiders will rule the world in a minute. I fucking, where are they? I've been in this forest for a week. I tell you what. Playing classic doesn't half ruin your nostalgia. My tinted glasses are getting very, very clear. <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> We're about to ash bail after this. I need baby spiders. I need to kill your children, not you. I need your babies. I need to feast on the corpse of the children. I might abandon this quest. Although I'm kind of in too deep at this point. Let me kill your babies. Baldur's Gate 3 would let me. Oh, there's one. Baby. I spotted a baby. I'm going to fucking murder this baby. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Get him! Execute! Got him! Oh, don't get the acid. They're not human children. They're spooders. Spooders. Aratha! Thank you for the eight months, Aratha. Thank you so much. Oh, another baby! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Die, baby. I kind of feel like we should do a dungeon. I think quest, sandwich, dungeon. Although they, I don't, they can't remember if they were actually good XP on. Dolly and Dot are my best friends. They pull. Cerulea, thank you so much for the five friend. gifted subs. Thank you very much, Cerulea. That's wonderful of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dungeon's pretty good. Dungeon's pretty good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are close to the stockades. Yeah, that doesn't require a journey. Oh, another baby. Got him. No, I have a sandwich made in the kitchen. I have chicken breast on a mini wholemeal bun. And a little bit of low-fat mozzarella sprinkled on top. It's going to be edible. <laughs> it's how I would describe it. It's not depression. It will quell my hungering stomach. And that's what matters. It's just fuel. Food is fuel, baby. Let's change the subject. You remember Jordan had steak and beans? Remember that? Let's talk about that instead of talking about me. You're having sausages and hash browns at one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, Jordan had baked beans and steak. Right? That's terrible. Of course she keeps bringing it up. She's proud of it, I tell you. Cute and innocent, that one is not. It's 
sausage and hash brown good any time. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, I stream to an audience of blacksmiths. I'm like really convinced that you're all part blacksmith at heart. Why? Well, we're in bad. Oh, there's the last baby I need to kill. Ya boy! Come here! Done! Oh, what's over here? Skeletal fiends. Oh, okay, we're pretty close to this. She's moving today, which means more steak and meat. Where's she moving to? She didn't tell me she was moving. Is she moving up north? She's moving to her own place. Hey, good for her. Good for her. I assume she's moving in uh, with Abso, yeah? Or not. In fact, is this a dark conversation we should be talking about? <laughs> it's, all, it's not all gone wrong, right? Oh, that means you're going to have a really scuffed stream style. Fuck's sake, every enemy I spot. Ah! Right, this one's mine. No one touch it. Jerks. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with moving to Manchester. That's a place to live. I like it anyway. Oh, a healing potion! Ya boy! Oh, yeah. The Mike. This is the last baby I killed. I don't think so, Mike. There are still many chances to come. Don't worry about me and the killing of the babies, alright? They were just little incy bitsy baby spiders. Mance is great. Me likey. Although I don't go into the city very often, so I can't really comment on that. The city is usually a shithole, but I don't know any major city in the world that isn't a shithole. Come on, man. I just... There's no... Uh, we're good. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no skeletons in this fucking graveyard. I've never been to Tokyo. Lots of places I want to visit in the world. Tokyo being one of them. Canada. Never stepped foot on Canadian shores. Would like to be there. I would like to see Moscow. Like, everybody who's been there is, is beautiful. Maybe in a few years, eh? Uh, we were planning to go to Japan in 2025. Because uh, it's... Uh... Oh, Nibs! Thank you for the raid, man! Welcome, Nibblers! Welcome, dudes! I bet he's going to the gym, isn't he? Jerk. Daytime gym, innit? Daytime. I don't want to go to Russia to, like, absorb... Uh, like, to be part of the culture. I want to see their architecture and stuff. Like, some, it looks fantastic. I would like to be on the streets. He's avoiding being ganked. Oh, no. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that's the why I would, you know, it's, it's just still somewhere I want to see one day. Exactly. It's got a lot of amazing things there. It's just, uh, like China. I know a bit of China. Am I allowed into China? Probably, right? Yeah. I imagine so. I don't particularly want to visit North Korea. That's not really high on my list. I'd be curious about seeing it, for sure. Ooh, I kind of do want to see it, but in like a really morbid way. Yeah, I did see that thing recently with, like, the secret Chinese police in London. Yeah. Try to get that video stopped. Yeah, I did see that. That was really weird, dude. <laughs> that was super weird. Yeah, a little easier for you there, over there, Edwin. They extend to England. Uh-huh. 
Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, sure, Cyber. We are just killing for numbers here. I don't mind grouping up. We're gonna have to loot. Oh, there's a team farming here. We've got a four-man team of bros. Bros becoming bros out in the fucking graveyard. Like right, Buffy the Vampire Slayer out here. Oh, now we're getting buffs. We are lacking in enemies, though, friends. Uh... Wahoo, well, go, Dad. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey, Lottie, how you doing, buddy? Oh, you good? Oh, where you at? We finally got a team together. We're a five-man squad. Okay. Spawn over there. Don't all chase down one spawn. That's not the idea. This is the idea. Tag this bitch. That's what we're doing. Yeah! Oh, I'm done. What am I looking for, then? Oh, fiends. I need fiends. Rep Paladins do so much more damage than me, it's actually ridiculous. Just by walking up. Well, how did they get Divine Storm? What kind of crap is that? I'm out of here. They get Divine Storm. I get, like, Phil Rage Bar Attack. Ads be gone. Hey, plebs, thank you very much. Yes. No ads for the subby boys. Did I get the sleeping bag? What sleeping bag? Oh, is this a D's Nuts setup? Uh, I'm pretty sure Warrior Runes this time around are going to be tip-top. So... Oh, we could hurt Hearthstone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, are we going to ding? Maybe. Mayhaps. Might be on for a dinger donga. Greetings. What can I do for you? Nope, not with that amount of XP. That's not going to happen. Need help? Uh, oh, it's some secret item. Don't worry about it. If there's anything I don't find, Bex is putting together all the riddles and stuff for things to find. So don't worry about it. If I don't find it naturally, we will find a clue to its location sooner rather than later. No problem. King's honor. Oh, we got a stockade quest. Ooh, wonderbar. I'll take that. You just got you just got me running backwards and forwards here, don't you? You should. Yep, same subscription for both retail and classic, and for whatever this weird 10.2.6 thing is that's coming. Whatever that's gonna be. Okay, that's level 29. That's level 29. Level 24. Okay. Well, that'll definitely ding us. Let's clear out this inventory, considering we butchered so many spider babies now. My inventory looks like a spider crush. Hello. Here to that. Uh, calls down a pillar of fire burning all enemies in the area. And damage over eight seconds. Uh, do we want to do stockades now? <laughs> uh, sure, like for the people who want it. Uh, I'm not going to click it, but you can share it with people who do want to know about the sleeping bag or whatever it is. I'm fine with it. I mean, it's not a link I'm going to click. Some people in the stream no doubt want it. Give me two seconds to grab a sandwich, because if I don't eat something soon, I'm going to order the fattest food in the world. 
Uh, I'll fly to Stormwind. We'll do that. There's a flight point here, right? No, if, if my brain is trying to convince me to eat foulness, then we, we need to eat something. Let's go Hello. here. Storm window. Go! Alright, like I said. Hi chat.
can't get hold of the boss, dudes. I don't know where she is. Oh my god, that's so many druids. Holy shit, I'm going to do no damage. <laughs> I am damageless and poor in this group. Holy crap. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh... They're butchering the whole place. What can I do for you? I want to repair. Thank you. Be careful. Right, am I tanking or I mean I imagine what levels are you guys? 26, 28, After eight hours 25. of grinding dungeons, all I got was six LV LS it. I, I don't like grinding dungeons. I can do a couple of runs, but after that, my, my interest just fucking wanes hardcore. Hey, Bex, have we got any... Uh, is Bex here? I don't know. Uh, yeah, are you, have you got Spotify, Phil? Just Google RWF uh, Echo. Or Spotify RWF Echo. This is, uh, this is Mitch's playlist from the Echo team. Yeah, no problem. This is literally just uh, the playlist that Echo made for the Race of the World first when we were in between shots and things. Family. Mm. Oh, true. I might have new spells. Oh, October Moon's tanking. Legend. I can't charge. Good start. Always good. Oh, I do have Wind Fury. Sick. Ren's worth it. Oh, I should play the real spec, shouldn't I, I suppose. Uh, what's it called? Fuck. Consumed by rage. Can I duck change in here? Uh, give me a sec. Let me swap. Was it? Uh, it's consumed by rage and... What's the other one? I think it was Wild Strike, Consumed by Range, Rage, and... Oh, was it Raging Blow? I think it was Raging Blow, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Raging Blow. Okay. I'm not sure what key... Oh, I put it on there. Okay. Sorry about that, dudes. Just uh, trying to not be a useless comp, that's all. It's hard. Did we not use wild strikes then? Was it all about raging blow? I remember how it works. I have to just wait. Oh yeah, because raging blow doesn't require rage. Does it? Yeah, that's right. Then you drop below 80, and then you let it build back up again. Yeah, I remember. I remember. You have to make a judgment call on whether or not it'll uh, make it past the line. Slow compared to Retail Warrior, but I mean, way, way faster than um, Classic Warrior, right? Way, way faster. I should make a little weak aura to track this thing just to make sure I'm doing it right.
I think I could squeeze more attacks in because you get like nine strikes with it. Yeah, it's about to fall off. I actually haven't used enough strikes before it's run out, which was not what we want. Aggro! Woohoo, tank! Hello! Hello! One taunt! Uh, I've got to play warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm only playing warrior in uh, hardcore. <laughs> I don't care if people find it a stupid choice. I'm going warrior. Warrior's the one I like. I'm a warrior at heart, baby. Oh, we got a level. Well, the XP's not actually too bad in here. We were pretty close to a level, but that's not bad. I suppose for the sakes of what we're doing now, we should probably take another deep wound. Congrats, dude! Let's take another deep wounds. Dodge, dodge, miss, miss. Dodge, dodge, miss, miss. I'm a warrior. Still a bit shoddy on the old AOE though. feel comfortable throwing cleaves in with this spec particularly. Well, that's probably fine. Grats! Okay, levels are kind of coming thick and fast in this bitch. Levels kind of coming thick and fast. Wind Fury Prockers? Come on! Yeah! That's what we like to see. Chunky! Oh, a ring! Oh, I've got good rings. No mind. Stands. Wah! Wah! Could I have been sent further away? <laughs> what the fuck, man? The cleave's not too bad. Cleave not too bad. Uh, I want to swap that with that. Yeah, that's correct. I got feared to China. Like, actually to China. Oh, we're not finished. AT Rage, mod check. Any second now, guys. I'm ramping up. 
I'm ramping up. Just give me a sec, and I'll be joining in. That's the th real downside of the spec, is waiting until you can actually DPS. Any second now. Hold. Hold. There we go. Okay, now we can DPS. I'm not going to miss out on the chance to do down. Mm, a deep wounds is probably not too effective here, actually. I do miss the combat of WoW Man in other games. It's true. It's true. You've been ramping so long, the next season is about to start. <laughs> it's a slow and steady ramp. I did one cleave too many there. I did one greed cleave. Just a touch too much. A touch too much. I've not been able to ramp up again properly. One more melee. Oh, come on. One more melee. There we go. Uh, it's fine when you're in the rhythm of it. When you get some downtime, it kind of sucks. Just takes a sec to get going. After the experience. I do not have a Black Feather no Death weapon. weapon. Or no BFD trinket. It apparently did drop Four. last night though on the BFD room we're supposed to go. Bragart sent me a picture that it did drop. And I missed out. I am trinketless as well. Yes. Yes. These are all true. No, why are you no auto attack? Wow. Why would you not auto attack? Sad, pathetic excuse for a warrior. Hi Mike, it's me, the Trinket. I missed you last night, you said you would be there and never came. Just buy it for 75G. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Not because I can't, obviously. Like, I'm not poor, but uh, I don't want to. So, you know. Any crits? One crit? Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody did Black Fathom last night. So apparently, he was giving a lot of bonus XP. I'm slept! Help! Basil, why would you sleep me? Chilled. Yeah, apparently it's giving like ridiculous XP. I, I should have gone last night, but like I said, my family wanted me home. Well, if people haven't done it, I don't mind doing it because I haven't killed the last boss yet either.
You want to do it later on, Braga? Uh, we can't do it as long as it doesn't, like, overlap with drama, that's all. Because what are we on? Like, half one now, so drama's in, like, three hours. Are we doing one more run in here? Probably should, right? We've got the whole team. Yeah, unless you've got a BFD group that wants to go. I really don't, I don't mind either it's way. me the trinket. I will give you another chance. Come by me for 75 grams. Watch that you are a poor yet again. Well, I will leave you to kill some more children. Uh, we're just doing a stockade run. We'll, we'll see what's viable in a sec. Sorry, I didn't know you were going to trade me. There I go, charging again. Know how it be. Imagine being able to hit the target. That would be awesome. Where you go, Shibsy? Oh, what? Why do you? Have, oh, did you like hardcore farming, Shibsy? Oh, do I dare even inspect your gear, dude? Okay. For the tabard, dude. I'm. Sw Are you playing dual wield? Oh, is that just for rage generation? So you can stay, uh, keep tipping in and out. Just for fun, I got you. Oh, you got the full set. Wow, look at you. Oh, you're geared to the teeth, dude. Well played. You got deadly strike. Oh, you got it. Is that the the sword from the last boss? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, if you wanted to, you would absolutely destroy me. Play, yeah, playing for fun in my game? I don't think so. Uh, I can't live in this world anymore. Hold on. It's World of Warcraft, man. I need I need to track my things. Ah, that ain't it, though, Chief. What's the number on it? It's not the enrage I'm trying to track. Hold. Did I not put start attack in some of these things? I probably haven't. That's a paddling. Come on, I'm ramping. Enrage me. Oh, there it is. Okay, it is working. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. How does the spec work? Uh, you get a buff when you go above 80 rage, like a temporary and rage buff. And the goal, we're at 79 right now, is it'll go above or I'll miss. <laughs> There, right, I get a temporary buff, and then I dip below 80 rage by spending attacks, and then it'll refresh when I pop back above 80 rage. So you want to stay in rage the whole time, is the idea. So there's kind of a rhythm to it that you know you'll get above it, assuming you'll hit the target, obviously.
Ooh, level 21. Yeah, kind of outdated now, but still, nice drop. Warrior's gotta come to be the beast, right? You'll see. You'll see. It might not look like it right now, but the time is coming, my friends. I don't know what the runes are, and I don't want to know, but they're gonna be awesome. Definitely a sick AoE one is coming. Probably Blade Storm. Yeah, uh, Cleave's a risky one because you uh, you don't have a white hit to get rage back. And you end up like kind of stuck a little bit. For my, I don't know how the stream feels about it, but I really don't mind knowing what other people have got. Like that, I would be kind of interested. Because <laughs> I know some of the runes have been discovered for this season, so I'm kind of curious what other Cleaves have got. But... I don't know if that's unfair, because I don't want spoilers. I can always check them myself later. This is so brutal. That's Mike. That's Agro. Squeeze one more in there. Yeah, we'll see who's up for BFD after this run. I think we can squeeze it in in this amount of time for drama. Probably it's giving huge experience, so pretty worth. No crits. Sad, sad daddy. Mikey, sad. Did anybody find a weird strat to do the last boss in? Because obviously, uh, when we did it in our little, like, shit geared group, that last boss, oh, not last boss, the second to last boss, needed a really tight DPS trick at the end, which we never quite made. Free action potion. Where do you use it then? Because uh, I don't remember our mobility being that much of an issue, or is it on other people? It was the um, uninterruptible cast that were killing us last time, which we thought shadow potions <laughs> were the play. If you, uh, if you fap in phase two, he doesn't cast chains. Oh, because he can't target anyone. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the cast root soul with fat potions, you're immune. That's a really clever way around it. That's pretty dope, actually. That's some good thinking, team. I should probably grab one so I don't fuck up the raid group because that would be cringe. One white hit, please. Thank you. The only thing that feels bad about this is you can't use Execute. It just drains your rage so much. I 
feel like executes off limits. Gnome supremacy. <laughs> Never trust a gnome. Uh, yes, you do have to go under 80 rage to get it to refresh itself. Yes, that's that's the play style. Uh, in Season of Discovery, uh, Druids give Wind Fury. It's awesome. Super good, super tasty. Druid Fury, I'll take it. Oh, that was a bad attack, Mike. Now we're gonna have to ramp again for an hour. F. Oh, right on 80, perfect. Oh, this white attack is taking a year and a half. Come on, 75. Yeah, Warriors kind of got screwed in Season 1, I feel, like, compared to some of the other classes, let's say. I think they had to nerf Hunters, though, right? Hunters were just too broken. Hunter got nerfed, like, three times. <laughs> Getting nerfed in the silly sandbox mode. That's when you know you're broken. When you're overpowered as a crit. And you kind of want to move to China. No, man, I just enraged, bro. clown shoes. Rage for being hit. I will stay for BFD. You have my sword. You have my sword. I wish I had Will of the Forsaken. We have Braggart Staff, legend. Uh, should I go to the auction house and get a free action potion? What say you, team? Probably, right? Yeah, I got there said he would tank as well. So we need two tanks, a healer, and a DPS. Gotcha.
Thank you, October Moon. That was really kind of you, man. Thank you. Uh, you're right. We might have more warrior spells. Uh, the warrior train is a dipshit land, isn't it? Steel fur wants to come. Sure, man. Uh, do I need a shadow protection potion? Like, aren't they considered like raid potions? How expensive is this free action potion going to be? Are the crafters just like spamming them? Oh, that cheap as ships. Perfect. Uh, I just bought three skips. So you don't worry about it. Thanks, though, mate. Appreciate it. I assume I'm only going to need... Uh, maybe we wipe once or whatever. Uh, I need to go to Old Town to get maybe new spells. I would rather have fun now and be nerfed later, is my perspective on not giving warriors cool shit. Because they're going to be exceptionally strong at some point in the future. Like, I don't think that's very fun. I would rather have more fun now and be balanced in the future, honestly. I don't give a fuck if some nerd gets mad in season four or whatever. Oh, fuck him. But I'm overpowered. Uh, the warrior trainer was this way. We got a new charge, a new mocking blow, and we got challenging shout. Cool. Be careful. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, can I stop being a shit house here? We have a raid. Oh, we're doing it. It's happening. Oh, boy. Okay, I am about to be fucking demolished. I am absolutely about to be demolished. Like, there is no doubt about this. I am about to be clowned on. We shall see. Uh, I definitely remember how to get to the fucking griffin place. And I'm not spacing out on how we do that. And it's round here to the left, I think. Uh, I need a mailbox as well. I need to get the free action potions. Right, griffin's up there. Farts, I'm on the wrong island, aren't I? Uh, the auction house is there. Where's the mailbox? In this shithole. This non horde place. There it is. Uh, 
Uh, Stormwind doesn't have a harbor in this version, right? What's the quickest way of doing this? Booty Bay? Yeah, I tried dragon ri uh, riding earlier on. Manithal? Yeah, I don't think uh, this is going to be a turbo Zerg group, though, I'd imagine. Uh... Manithil slightly faster. All right. Manithil will take us to Dark... Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll take us to Thingy. All right, good. <sighs> wait for summons. That ain't me. I have never been a wait for summon kind of guy, and that's not happening. Never happened, never will. Uh, good. Awesome. Mm. Oh, when a mage joins the group and you don't know whether they're... I've never been healed by a mage yet, I don't think. Warriors screwed not in terms of DPS, in terms of fun, unique runes. I want some good shit. I want my blade storm. I want heroic leap. Did they give us Rampage? Rampage isn't super fun to press anymore, though, unfortunately. Uh, I have one of the BFD raid quests. You're too far away. I have one of them. I have Black Fathom Villainy. I would want... Well, we get, we got to get Berserker stance this time around, right? So that's level 30. Can I start the Whirlwind Axe at level 30? I think I can, right? Pretty sure that's accurate. Yeah, Whirlwind Axe level 30. That's going to be awesome. Um, what do we get at level 40? Oh, it's uh, MS or whatever, isn't it? I wonder if we'll want a Mortal Strike. Probably. I would. Uh, I wonder how Fireball Fury will be in Season of Discovery. I do like me Fury. Ooh, we're not far off in Pale either. Next few, next few levels are actually kind of juicy, honestly. Yeah, next few levels are kind of thick. Dummy thick. We've got Impale coming. We've got Two-Handed Spec. Sweeping Strikes is coming. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's some real baller stuff coming. We've got Fury. We can get Death Wish. Death wish, good. Respects are capped at one G. Yeah, but the Whirlwind Axe, you can usually get some groups together that want to do it. Not the worst thing in the world. How are you guys already there? Fucking nerds. Friggin' miles away. No, oh, the dudes are getting wiped out. What the hell happened to you guys? Are you PvPing? Oh, you didn't wait outside while we were hard chilling. Uh, I remember most of these bosses. Uh, if I remember right, the turtle with the bubble, did we just not attack the bubble? 
until it burst. It was about getting healed up, right? If I remember right, when it put the bubble shield up, you just waited. Oh, you do hit the bubble. Yeah, we had to reduce its stacks. That was it. And then we had the March of the Gnomes guy where you just watched your feet. That was nothing. Then we had that gauntlet boss. That was fine. Uh, we had the first boss that was up on the platforms. You just you had to jump off if you got bubbled or some debuff or whatever it was. There was that like uh, Naga lady, but I think Holla. we like killed the ads, which seemed completely unnecessary because she hasn't got any health, and we could have just melted her, which is probably what's done now. I would guess. We're going to raiding. We're off to a raid, which I haven't finished yet. So we did it. We got to the very last phase because we we only had about an hour left when we got there. We got to the last phase of the, of the um, shadow guy. I haven't done the last boss. We didn't do the last boss. Not making that mistake this time. We are clean. We are clearing Gnomeland big time. Okay, now from here I need to take the boat. Uh, no, we only went to the raid once. Uh, the one day. Or at least I did. Perfect five out of seven. Yep, that's me. That's me. Oh, Megathius Tuggy got a prop pally. Awesome. All right, you in full? Are you full like Armada mode now? All right, yeah. <laughs> No weapon enchant worthwhile on that shrimpsy? Is there no weapon enchants at this level? At the 25 level? Nothing? Not even like weapon damage plus two or something? Ooh, nice trinket actually. Shadow resistance and attack power. Stamp health per second. 12 attack power, reduce your chance to hit with spell, uh, hit with spells and with melee. That's huge. 1% hit gear. That's fucking fire. That's really good. Oh, you've got endless rage on the gloves. So you're not bothering with quick strike at all? What are you dumping with? Heroic? Oh, I don't even have... Uh... Oh, it's on hands. They nerfed Quick Strike. Ah, so, just testing it out. Uh, what's the meta setup for level 25? Is the meta Quick Strike or no? I don't even have a helmet. <laughs> I'm helmetless and poor. Not played in a while. No, no, no. I mean, Season of Discovery is something you pick up and put down. I'll stick as I am, I think. Maybe halfway through, we'll see if uh, this word thing worth swapping over. Damn, everyone keeps dying in there. I'm a little worried about what we're walking into, man. Look at you, potion goblin. Thanks, man. 
Yeah, I'll make the tabard. If we kill the raid, if we clear the raid in a, a good enough amount of time, I'll make the tabard, right? It's officially two hours till drama. If we do it, I'll make the tabard, all right? I'll do it. Has anyone seen Zeppelin yet? Where is she, the fucking poor? Has she been on? She's excited to play. Where is she? Already out-leveled you. Useless. She played yesterday. Shit, I've already just said I out-leveled her. Is that wrong? <laughs> she might be better than me. For say, you're already 29, geek. Super geek. Geek spotted. Fuck, she is a higher level than me. Bastard. She's 28. <laughs> Fucking hell. Shit. I'm being beat by Zeppler. She's barely awake. Fuck's sake, man. What's Nobble? Where is he? Twenty-five. Poor. Nice. Nice. Get oh, was he re-rolled? No, that was his druid that he tried out. Okay. Oh, you boosted Zeppler. Oh, I see. She's been carried and not done any of her work. Okay, that makes way more sense. So she probably was asleep. She just had somebody on follow. Yeah, that fits. That fits. That fits way more than I thought, actually. He's playing a hunter on a different server. All right, his girlfriend's in another town. Yeah, I see. I see. His girlfriend's in a different town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't know her. He's playing a hunter on a different server. She could be anybody. Who the fuck knows? It's all a bit of a mystery. I should have put this thing. Oh, I got summoned! Poogers! Nexo, you absolute legend. All right, we're ready for war. Okay, Mike, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. We're going to be bottom damaged. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, how long do the potions last? One hour. Okay. I get salvation? Hypers! What, might though? What, are you healing though, Azzy? I don't know. I got traded food. This is like the best day of my life. Scripe's such garbage. Scripe online, I want to send him some shit. Cool. Look at us, eh? Look at us. Family. Eh? Pretty good, right? Look at us here. Together as one. Raiding together. Bit of World of Warcraft. Kicking it old school. Come on, I'm ramping. I'm ramping. I'm ramping. Here comes the pain. Just had to ramp a little bit. Just had to ramp up. You know what I mean? Just, I needed to, give me a second to get there, yeah? 
I'm not balls to the wall. I, I like a bit of foreplay. A little bit of foreplay. It's about the journey, not the destination. Uh, some runes have been found. Again, if you're wanting to not just like Google where all the runes are, Bex is preparing lists with riddles and clues uh, for all classes as to where their runes are. So if you're preferring that kind of gameplay, instead of just being, you know, each both is fine. But if you do want to, uh, do want that to happen, we will have them up as they're discovered. Bex is working on them as they're found. Did I run out of air? <laughs> oh my god, I miss being undead. <laughs> I totally miss being an undead. I don't give I ever give a shit about the oxygen level. Okay, I have one more of these, so that's fine. In a very long time. Didn't they give us a buff down here that gave you like water breathing or something? I remember something like that. It has fast drowning in it. Oh, yeah, it's these air bubbles, right? Didn't they give you a buff? Let me science this. Oh, that was it. Yum! It was a movement speed buff. I wonder, uh, this is kind of a nerdy question, if the blues from the raid are to likely last you for quite some time. Like, are they worth enchanting? Because I have a few of them. Right, are we likely to not replace them for a while? Well, look, let's see if we get any... <laughs> let's see what we get. <laughs> and then maybe we'd go and do some enchant shopping or something. Oh, crap! We have to buy the materials, don't we? It's classic. Ugh. Oh, I haven't set up my big wigs. That's cringe. All right, I'm ramping. Don't debuff me. I'm ramping. How are you getting such a strong opener? What the fuck? It takes me a week and a half to get this rage up. And then I miss. Okay, now I can start. It's going to die anyway. Might as well execute it. Uh, oh. I wear mail. I won them. Sick. Sweetness.
Don't kill the little crabs. The little crabs are friends. Uh, we got new braces. Big. All we need now is loot off every single boss. That's all we need, dudes. We're not even asking a lot. <laughs> Piece of shit. Get caught in a plastic tube. Really. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had the Twitch TV in game thing. <laughs> I've got a health potion if it goes pear shapes. Oh, pull it! You're just draining my rage, man. You, oh, yeah! Warrior attack fucking knows. Right, we don't touch these balls, do we? They're not protection balls. How is this turtle, like, so fucking unhittable? What the fuck is that? I mean, how has he got these kind of skills? He's a turtle. A ninja turtle. Okay, I need to make sure I don't get knocked back into orbs. Chip behind me. Should be fine. What the fuck? Should be good. <laughs> Miss. This this turtle's got moves. Shoulders. Uh, oh, they have no strength in them, like tank shoulders. Uh, hmm. Meh. Meh. Oh, you can't measure DPS on a fucking boss that has a bubble up half the time. That doesn't count. Play by the rules, will you? What's water side popping? I mean... All right. <laughs> by the end, by the end, by the end. By the end, we'll be pop, pop it off.
You'll see. All right, don't drown. This is very important that we do not drown again. I know it's. Oh, I've gotten an ending breath. Okay, good. We're good for now. I've been blessed by the power for warlocks. This is good times. Oh, one too many. That was greedy. That was greedy. Yeah. One too many cleaveroos. Little greedy. I can accept that. <laughs> Greed monster took over there with the DPS. Hello boys. How's it going? It's going good. Right. Did we just serve the boss here? What's the story? Hit me with some knowledge. Okay. We're just, we're just spanking Lady Saravis. All right. All right. Cool. I'm not going to stand it, shit. I'm just making sure that our DPS is going where it's... Oh, I did not get a charge there. That's unfortunate. Ramping. Ramping for inevitable destruction. Here it comes. The fuck is making that squeaky noise? What the fuck is that? is that? I feel like I've got a rubber duck in my fucking character. The spell. Ooh, nice ring. Seven strength, three stamina. Six strength, six stamina. Kind of juice ring. Uh, is it better than this one? Three strength, three agility. The spirit is useless. Uh, well, it's better, squad. The Seal of Rin. Can someone math this out so I don't take it off someone? Good shit. All right, just straight strength. I don't know whether Adji's is playing any part with crit or whatever these days. Beep, boop, oxygen. The classic math Cloud. magicians doing all kinds of work. I was uh, in the in the very original vanilla days. There was a brief period of time around level thirty-five ish where I was an agility warrior because it gave crit, and I was like, "Well, that's crit's good." <laughs> Uh, I was like, I, I hit pretty hard, so maybe I should boost my agility um, to boost my crit. So maybe I was ahead of the game. No, no, no! I didn't really play with anybody in the very, very first times. It was no, uh, I, it was, it was only the second time I played WoW that I actually came with friends. My first visit was not uh, pretty. Oh, piss off disarming me. You fucking poor. Get punched. Wow, this disarm only lasts 600 fucking years. Great.
Spank it. You want my help, Mohawks? Do you know what I want? Does anybody... If don't, I don't know if there's anybody in the chat right now who's a bit of a weak aura specialist or whatever. I would like a weak aura that when my character is CC'd by a Nova or a stun, that it plays the Dies of Cringe gif on my screen. I want that weak aura. Just once. Just once. Not like repeatedly. When I lose control of my warrior in classic, that it just plays the dies of cringe emo. It's all I want. I'm asking a lot. I made a weak horror once. <laughs> you sound like such a jaded old veteran. I made a weak horror once. Sure was nice. Remind me of that little lady that I saw on the farm that day. Little, little summer dress. Oh, this is the shortcut. I remember this. Slow walk, wide walk. Oh, is there a hidden repair thing here? Was I wrong on that? Am I am I am I losing my mind? After boss. Okay, yeah, I remember something like that being there. I want melee. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him again. Suck it. They call me the Crit Daddy. Ready. I'm the Crit Daddy. And I'm here to fuck shit up. Can I get a charge in? Nope. Chargeless and pull. Ramping. Ramping. Ramps. Unleash the hell! Overpower that didn't crit. Cringe. I want it, to, I want it on that as well. When overpower doesn't crit, I also want dies of cringe. Can you imagine critting the boss once? What would that be like? That would be pretty magical, I think. I love phases that last too long. They're awesome. Hey, I crit the boss. Wow. Oh, 
Boogie Wonderland. Now you're attracting all the shit, you. Must be a rep paladin thing. Parry, dude. Don't parry me, bro. Clappers. Ooh, booties. Need. That's right. That's right. That's two set. Twelve attack power. Oh. oh. Mm -mm. Oh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Officer. What brings you here? Uh, officially unstoppable. Make way for my presence. 12 attack power walking through. Count it. How much you got over there? 11. <laughs> Good job. Uh, did we just zerg this thing? I know last time we went for a controlled approach. You see, it was the general feeling of the raid audience that we should take a measured approach here. Deal with the ads first before we move on to the totem dropper. Um, do, do, we, do, we, do, we, do, do we do something similar here? Or shall we, shall we be rather ruthless in our approach? What do you think? Kill the lightning shield totem only. All right. <laughs> yeah, he dropped three different ones. Wasn't it like a flame one, a lightning one, and a wind fury one? Something like that? Oh, question. Who drops the helmet? Don't make me open the journal. Go on, somebody knows. Woohoo, who does it? We're still helmetless and poor. But that's the three set right there. That's a chance to hit by 1%. Count it. Orc boy. All right. Someone does. You you know what, Dorito? You're my boy right there. High five. High five. High five, Dorito. Go ahead. Oh, it puts you in combat straight away. Fucking dies of cringe again. I need a weak hero that does loads of things that are dies of cringe. It's like pulling without charge. Ramping. I'm going to explode in a sec, guys. Just wait for it. Any second. Here we go. Ooh, I could have fit in a cleave there. Alright, Shrimpsy, I need to know what your opener is, because I'm fucking wide walking through here like an absolute fucking moron. There's no way you just dies of cringe banana milkshake. Fucking Super rude. Uh, so what's that? Wind Fury. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm on it, team. Right like a rocket.
tanks fucking giga chatting this uh, wind fury Four, storm or what? Three, two, one. Oh, it's a rolly ball. Oh, that's right. He spawns a rolly boy. <laughs> oh, it's following me. No rolly ball. Get a new friend, rolly ball. That fire noise is super giga annoying. Yeah, we're not gonna get enraged again. Oh no, he's a roly boy! Uh, 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 uh. Does it chase the person closest to it? Is that how it works? Uh, a Librum? Paladin loot? The fuck? Gross. Oh yeah, I don't like the idea of Librams. They should probably be removed. Hey, Stradmadar, thank you, dude. Oh, you having a good day? Dies of cringe, somebody please. I burnt some books in, um... War game, but that was to save my dying child, so... Worth. Double parry! The best kind of parry! Why be parried once when you can be parried twice? Uh, no, I didn't save the little girl, but without spoiling it, it was very hard to do, if we're being completely honest. I can say I tried my best. Does turn out my best wasn't quite good enough. I did. I did try my best. Gentlemen. I tried to make a nice home for me and her. Oh, I so wish I could interrupt, man. Watching these cast bars goes off hurts my soul. <laughs> I'm not making a little shield bash macro, though. That's not happening. You can either have interrupt now. You have shield bash here. But it's, it's so awkward. You have to do weapon swapping and stuff. It's gross. Not a fan. I fed her what I could after I fed myself, obviously, because if I, I get weak and die, then we're both screwed. It's her own best interest that I eat first. Oh, mobs for days! Cleave him, cleave him, cleave him! Uh oh. 
Don't kill me. Love you guys. You're the best. Hearts. Big hearts. Big hearts. Big hearts. Thank you. Hey, Mike. You're blasting. Wait till I have a weapon worthy of my stature as a human being. Then we'll see some DPS. For now, though, we will cope with what we have. The complexity is whether or not you can press cleave or not, though. <laughs> if I was to make the guide, it's when can you press cleave? The real question. All right. Uh, I need this potion thing, don't I? All right, deal. All right, so we just do it as soon as he goes big. As soon as he goes chungus, we just press button. We don't need to do what we were doing, which was like the spread around his back uh, 180 or anything. It was 45% he went big, right? Am I right on that? Just pop it base too, no problem. I think it was 45%. He swapped. You know what we need for this. Because we're back on deck. We're here again. We're back on deck. close. I'm too close. How do I make him go away? I was still too close. There we go. Okay. Max range. Now I remember. I forgot. I forgot temporarily. Okay. It dawned on me very quickly though. It all became apparent. We're all good. Dies of cringe. Oh, well, we kill these things, don't we? Jagged bone necklace. That's kind of dirty that that works that way. That free action potion kind of just stops the whole thing. <laughs> That's kind of big dirt. Oh, 
season of alchemy. Oh, he died. Oh, the cat died. Didn't bring its potions, though. Right? That's the cat's fault for being unprepared for raid. And also, it's a cat, so is it a real loss? When you really think about it. What did we really lose? I would look at it a different way. We gained another dead cat. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna be salty. We didn't get any loot. We're lootless. So all we need now is the epic two-hander, which will definitely drop now. And once we get that... Copium. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what this boss does, because obviously we did the blind raid last time, so... If anyone were to assassinate Mike in hardcore, you'd be doing a good thing. Akumai. I have no idea what this boss does. But as a melee DPS in a classic World of Warcraft saying, I assume I press damage. And all shall be well. I was third on the damage last time. I'm not bad. I'm all right. Sure, I'm only two thirds of what a warrior could be doing right now, but I'll take it. Have you acquired any runes, champion? Nope. No runes yet. Kill boys in phase one and don't stand in breath. Can do. Can do. there'll be boys coming. I'm ramping. Are these the boys? These look like boys. Do we run to them or what? Nobody's going to them. Oh, they're, they're, they're green boys. They're like helpful boys. Now he's a bad boy. Was good boy, now bad boy. Such. You hate to see it. Breath's coming, everybody! It's happening now! There are more small boys coming. There's a door banging next to me. Am I being robbed? Do I stop DPS to check? Oh, he's gone huge. Look, he's a very large man now. Very large man. Look at the size of his flappy little tail. Little flapper. No way this thing could take a shit. It's, it's reality. No, 
Uh, phase two is just like a Zerg phase. Looks like. He's breathing, everybody. He's breathing. Ah, uh, to press execute or not? The real toughness of life. Not yet. No epic weapon. In fact, no loot at all. You guys let me down yet again. Now, here's a sexy bow. I assume Azzy needs that. Get owned. <laughs> Get owned. Rootless, lootless, and poor. We did get a level, though, it looks like. Awesome. We totally did. Wonderful. Well worth it. Uh, I'll take that for a solo play. For sure. That makes sense. Oh, I got the thingy. What does this do? This item begins a quest. I'm on a quest. I did get the pearl. Uh, what do I do with pearl? Right, I have two things to turn in. Darnassus and Darnassus and Ironforge. Uh, bring the thingy. Ooh, I get a ring. Where do I get a Logalis manuscript? Did I miss that? Uh, that room is an old piece of lore. Uh, turtle room? Oh, God, it's like a turtle boy. Yeah, fuck that. If we ever come back here, I'll do it. I don't know if this place is, like, worth the XP at reset as well. Just for a quick 20 minutes. Might be. Who knows? Hey, GG's team. No, that was super smooth. That was awesome. You guys have uh, clearly been kicking some ass in here. All right, I'll do the fucking tabard, but you're not going to like it, so. I don't know why you're so excited. It's going to suck. <laughs> Good tabard, big bug. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely atrocious. Uh, what level are we? 28. Or at least we're matching Zeppler. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take matching Zeppler. Discord. Da -da -da. Uh... What have you posted here, Bex? Oh, that's that guy from this morning. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, with glory and love in our hearts, the page is now up. If you are looking for your runes and you do not want to be spoiled and don't want to know what they do and you want to have fun, it is now live on PreachGaming.com, courtesy of Bex, of where your rune riddles are. So if you would like the riddles to solve them, these are written by our wonderful Lady Bex. Yep, Bex is updating them as and when they're discovered with some nice riddles. So they these are not where do you go and get them, this is what you do. These will be riddles written by Bex. So for example, for the druids, down to the land where needles drop plenty, head to the east and find your effigy. Stone tombed friend or granite gazed foe, use your roar and you'll soon know. So, riddles are there for the ones that you want to do. I will link the webpage here. It's on preachgaming.com. It's free for all to use. So, there you go, my friends. There you go. If you want to go on a little adventure, 
Make sure you tweet it out, Bex, and let people know that it is now live. Yep, GG's to Bex, the Super Rizzler. I'm really curious as to how many people engage with it and uh, want to check it out, because uh, hard to guess with stuff like this. I, I think most people will want the straight answers, but I know uh, a lot of people in our community like having a little adventure to go on. What can I do for you? Uh, a new shield. Frost resist shield. Very nice. Light bless you. Oh, a trinket. Sick. I need a trinket. Or the alliance. Glorious. Yay, we got a trinket. Uh, I assume the shield is better than what we have. I am level 33. Yeah, that's better. Awesome. What a result. Uh, <laughs> was, uh, just loss of character control. <laughs> just loss of character control to start with. I mean, the other ones I want are really complex, like combat starts and didn't charge. <laughs> Super dies of cringe. <laughs> I think we could get our first aid upgrade while we're here as well. Hey, Shrimpsy, thank you so much for the potions, man. I love uh, being boofed. It's nice. Oh, Silk. We're going to need to go to Arathi for Silk, aren't we? <laughs> Just a permanent on screen. Uh, the gift's usually not a problem for weak auras. I did it when I made them Ian Hazacostas ones of the uh, thing chasing me. Usually, as long as you put them in the folder, they'll show up. There's things you can do. Um, there's nothing else for me to do here, right? I can leave, Darnassus. New overpower! New thunderclap! Shield wall! Superb! We've got shield wall. Yeah, I could make it myself relatively quickly. I'm just being super lazy, Woden, honestly. <laughs> you need, like, a sussy press here. <laughs> He's nearby. Hello. Yeah, I could totally make it myself pretty quickly. It's just, uh... That's what it is. Being super lazy. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. If I can find the way into the fucking building, stupid night elf pricks. Oh my god. What? What? How do you get in here? What is this? Oh, there's a fucking bridge. Of course there is. Imagine having a fucking door. You ever heard of stairs, you pointy eared pricks? Jesus Christ, it's not even designed properly. Your fucking ramp comes under a roof. Jackass. My group of the Harris County. Uh, 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 you won't talk to me. Shrewsh, Shrewsh Japan.
can't say I didn't try. You can't say I didn't try. You can't decide it at the tab I'd been doing. No, I'm just you're just making me buy multi you're just wasting my gold now. Google says Darnassus doesn't work. Uh, have we got anything else to do here? No, we're going back to Duskwood anyway. All right, I'll try Stormwind. All right, I'm going to Stormwind. It's going to suck. Just pre-warning you guys, it's going to suck. Uh, oh, glory be. We could do these quests now. Yay. Awesome. Coming back with a couple of levels is the way to go. Can I help you? You should post the riddles on Reddit. Dude, I am completely incapable of posting things on Reddit without it looking like just advertising and people bitching. So, hard no. Get a drinky drink.
Oh, Bex. Um, uh, is Bex here? Oh, there's an ad breakup. Nobody knows. Uh, nops. Uh, oh, oh. I'll type it in here. I couldn't do that. Oh, I tell you what, Bex. We can do this. This is fine. It's a super short one. <clears throat> uh, cl highlight set the ready, Bex. <clears throat> this is kind of a spoiler. Three, two, one. Holla ballers and a bro fist to you all. This is a super quick one to let you know if you've just started Season of Discovery Season 2. Our wonderful Bex has put together a, a series of riddles on our website. So if you're looking for your runes and you don't just want to go and Google them or get them off the Discord or whatever, uh, you can actually have riddles as to where their locations are, little hints as to where they are, so you can go on the Discovery Chain all by yourself, all right? So if you want to do that and you want to have that little adventure in Season Discovery, that is available for you right now. Bex is going to put the image on the screen. Ah, and the link is down below. All right, so enjoy, and uh, I'll have a full report on Season of Discovery for you in the next day or so. Bye, guys. All right, there we go. <laughs> who are you talking to, Stash? Stash, who are you talking to? Looking for something specific? I should be a YouTuber? I'll think about it. I don't know if I want to give over my life to that. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if I, I I have the tolerance of typing out every word I say and then putting it in bubble font. That seems like a lot of effort because, as we all know, videos these days are watched without sound. And uh, if you don't type the words, then there's no engagement with the audience. How are we supposed to reach the youth of today with just our voice? Impossible. More energy? Oh, God. Yeah, I need, you need, we need more energy. Tabard vendor... Guildmaster. Hello there. Where's the Tabard designer? Alu? Is it you? Light ah. I want to create a guild crest. Alright, here we go. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be a rat. That looks kind of ratty. Do we represent family? This snacks, which is almost worms. Less than three. Blizzard. It's fucking 2024. I know this is classic, but can we have a menu with lots of them on show? This is insane. This is actually insane that you have to click through these images. <laughs> not the crying bear, no. We're not a bunch of whining fucking... <laughs> I kind of like that. Stash. <laughs> it looks like Stash. That's what I see. That's what I see when I look at that Stash cat. Do we like that? Uh, what's the color scheme? You tell me the color scheme. What's the color scheme? What's our this year's color scheme? Piss yellow. Pink. The color of family. Yeah, you see, you guys don't even want this. They don't really have a magenta. Eh, maybe. Mm. Yellow and purple, surely. Is 
This is ridiculous that they don't have a drop-down menu for this. That's about as yellow as it gets. Kind of matches my armor. What's the appropriate purple? Like that. Can I make this fucking screen bigger? What the fuck is this? Go with honor, friend. What's the thing? Is it you? How do we fucking make it garbage? Does it change with my character? Greetings. If we go backwards, we should find it quicker. Unless there's 8 billion of these. There is a happy turtle. No, I like Stash Cat. Stash Cat's pretty good. Unless we bump into a rat now. Oh my god, there's a fucking billion of them. It's a bit bushy. Yeah, that's that's best. match it's annoying me does that match Pink than purple. <laughs> That's a solid idea. Yeah, it's kind of hideous. I don't think we want hideous. Is stash cut more green? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want it to be gross. That's not fun. You know, the purple's not really purple. It's like more pinky. Pretty purple. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> it stares at the back. <laughs> okay. There we go. Light Done. We have a tabard. Stage cat. Stash cat stares right back at you. <laughs> Stash. There you go. It only took six months, but we got there. 
We got there. We're a family of stairs. <laughs> it's a family of stairs staring endlessly. It is done. It is done. There is no rats. Good job, team. Actually, it looks pretty good. Like, unironically, it actually looks good. I'm shocked. It actually doesn't look bad at all. Right, to get back to Duskwood. Finish those off. I've got a bunch of complete quests. Where are these for? Where did I get these quests from? Are they from here? The song is very wide walk. It's like a bushy-tailed squirrel. Well, no. <laughs> that is the family coming through. Oh, I like that, actually. It works on multiple levels. Yes, you got your tabard. Happiness. Happiness achieved. Victory is assured. What's the link? It is the clues to the runes. They're not straight up answers. They are little riddles to help you solve them. What's my first one, though? Just because you're a warrior, you can't forget your training. To the south of the needles, you should be aiming. Waiting for you upon the flats are three stalwart stone-clad chaps. The first awaits your killing blow. Execute when he's low. The second stares at you rather defiantly. Taunts his gaze and he'll yield oh, no. compliantly. Third is brazen and undeterred. Bass with your shield for a reward earned. Paula Preacher, how's the sod going? Uh, good. We haven't got any runes or anything yet, but we just did the raid for the... I, or I did the raid for the first time. I got my trinket and I got some nice booties. I've got attack power now. Uh, I didn't win the ring, did I? No, Megtheids yoinked it off me. Kind of rude, honestly. Uh, we got some braces, though. Our gear's pretty good, actually. We're just helmetless and necklaceless. But our gear's not shabby at all. Yeah, Bex is doing it for every single class. Every single class. So, she's doing... So, there you go. The druid ones are up. A couple of hunter ones. Mage, mages have got three. Pallies have got one. Priest. Rogues have got two. Shamans have got three already. And it doesn't tell you what the runes do either. It's just to help you find them. Uh, you can join the guild, sure. Uploading as we discuss it. Well, I can now has three. Yeah, there you go. Ain't no problem, serious. Yeah, I'll get a helmet. I I'm not uh, bothered about it. Uh, I assume we could do some dungeons. Uh, in fact, Emma's not called me back to clear up if I could stream tomorrow. But we are doing Rotopia tomorrow. Thanks to our massive sub goal today. You guys have been amazing. I was getting a little concerned. You guys are tremendous. Thank you very much. Uh, we're after Rot Blossom. Does it drop? It does. Of course it does. Uh, I should change my shit around again, shouldn't I? Um... Yeah, I just think we go with Frenzied Assault over Consumed by Rage. Oh no, I think we will be able to stream. I just don't know when it'll be tomorrow or Sunday. I know I've got some stuff on tomorrow. That my wife has let me know about. But I think it's all morning stuff. He thinks.
Hey, Zarek, thank you for the 24, 22 months as well. Thank you very much, Zarek. Sorry if anybody I missed during the raid. Shrabda, thank you very much. Neverlast, Alconius Khan, Annie Milk, thank you all. Alpaca with the two years today as well. Thank you, Alpaca. Hey, weekends are usually family time. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, family. Wow, not being able to make these things bleed is really fucking garbo. Oh, Blizz, don't tell me these things only drop here. Why would you do this to me? Overpower didn't crit. That was the other one, Bowden. Overpower doesn't crit. Immediate dies of cringe. Uh, no, I don't think Blizzard level do uh, an ultimate. I would like that, though. I just don't think it's in their agenda. Uh, Blizzard generally does weigh up content creation with, like, how much it's going to get used. Like, their, their mindset is, we could make this thing, but no, we know that nobody's going to be able to do it. So who are we making it for? We're we making it for, like, 2% of the player base? What's the point? And they have a point. There is a finite amount of resources. I do get it. I think raids are justifiable because they're also making LFR and up, right? They're not just just making a mythic raid. An ultimate is just it, the ultimate would be like just making a mythic and raid. And so we begin year so three. Very very Roll different on situation. The good times. Third year. Oh wow! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, so that's that's the difference is when they make that raid, uh, they're also making LFR normal and heroic. Sleep well, Woden. What time is it there? It's got to be like fucking five o'clock in the morning, you maniac. Friday, though, isn't it? It's Friday night. Fuck it. Fuck it. 2.20? Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Caffeine, you know, a bit wired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make an ultimate unlocks a new class ability? No, you can't do that. If they ever did make an ultimate, it'd have to be cosmetic only. I think if they added gear to it, that's super poor. I'm actually not sure how the cosmetics work in the FF ultimates. Is it one per kill? Two per kill? Or it's not just everybody gets it, right? Yeah, one per kill. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, so they drop them. Okay, so if you wanted ultimate weapons, if you wanted the skins for different jobs, you would have to farm it. But if you just had, were a one job Andy, you just need one kill. And you're guaranteed to get it. I think for WoW, it should be probably like mounts. So it's two per kill. I don't think you want to make content that they do literally once. And then it's just, it's just cell runs. two of these? Why is this fucking drop rate? Do they drop somewhere else? Didn't crit. Dies of cringe. Yeah, you have to be careful because you're making content that you know barely anybody's going to get.
It really is concept. It, but I mean, the, the, the way you sell it to the rest of the audience is no, we know you're not going to be able to do this or like until next expansion or whatever. Which I would allow people to do, like for sure. I wouldn't like drop, make the drop rate really cringe next expansion. But if you make them good enough that people are really into like seeing it happen, then I think that's fine. Never say never. Like, I mean, you're not wrong on that. Ne never say never. There's, uh, I just don't think they're going to. There should be a more appropriate thing. I would like them to try it once, though. Like, just, uh, just for fun, almost. Is that any different? I mean, you can't really do it with, like, a mythic-only boss. Because it can't be that much harder than everything else. Like, you want ultimate to be... Or whatever they call it in WoW. We'll just call it ultimate for our discussion. You want it to be fucking ridiculous. I think DSR nailed it. If you can mess with the story and stuff, you can make some really cool shit. Tenman might be an interesting approach. That at least would open up the accessibility to, to more players. Uh, sure, but... I don't really have an issue killing mobs around here, though. Oh, I'm in combat. I missed. If it's a quest item I need that he doesn't need, I wonder if uh, it'll leave it on mobs he kills. Yeah, honestly, it blows my mind that they seemingly have fully rejected 10 mans. So weird. As well as one-off bosses. It, it's really strange to me they haven't made far more accessible uh, mini raids for people. Oh, it does leave the loot for me. Nice. That's great news. Uh, yeah, it's really weird to me. Like, Karazhan, Zulgarub, AQ20... Zulaman, super popular, run constantly, and they just seemingly stop doing it. Weird. Yeah, well, mobless and poor. There was a big spawn going on, but it slowed down. I wonder if people are not looting. Remember right, not looting does slow down respawns. Come on, man. Rat jam me, dude. Yeah, it can be a lot of organization, man. When our guild died, nobody wanted to pick up the work, and Alex and Moz knew that as well. <laughs> it was the last thing anybody else wanted to do. We were like, dude, we're not doing it. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. They're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> and it's tough. It feels bad, man. Like, you know that... They know as well as anybody that if they make the decision to stop running the guild like they did, that the guild is dead, because ain't nobody picking up the fucking slack. Ain't no way, ain't no how. Uh, yeah, that's what Alex tells me, because he runs two Final Fantasy raid groups, um, or he's part of two. And they're really chill about the whole thing. Even if they can't make a raid or whatever, they'd rather just not raid that night.
even if one person's missing, they just set a date and people are polite enough to let them know if they can't make it and that's it. I don't know if Clog's here, but I think their teams have cleared everything now. I know he had like more of a cutting edge team and then another team of friends who were just clearing everything. And they were doing... Uwu, I think, was next on their list last time I spoke to Alex about it. Alex Raiders of the Night, he called you what? Precy? Oh, instead of Presaya. <laughs> uh, it can be difficult to find a guild. I'm not going to dispute that. But the reward from finding a guild that fits you, like spending that time, is so good. Like, you can have your gaming experience if you find a solid one. It's so much, so much more enhanced. Certainly when I see the people who are queuing for Mythic Plus for fucking days on end and just kind of hoping that at some point they'll get groups and maybe somebody will let them into a plug or something. Like, that is baffling. That time spent finding a guild is way, 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 way superior. Both have worked out. Uh, I mean, it takes work. The hardest thing is honestly finding a group of people that respect other people's time. There are far too many people who have never, ever had to conceptually deal with appreciating other people's time. It's like a foreign concept to some people. It's bizarre. The kind of people who seemingly wake up and don't see a problem with like stomping around the house while people are asleep it was the first thing i taught my kids because they didn't get it at first so they were like wake up and just start like clambering around the house talking outside of my door chit-chatting fucking going to the toilet and fucking making a ton of noise and i'm like boys what are you doing I'm like, oh we're awake i'm like i get you're awake why are you waking everybody else up They're like oh and then it dawned on them. It was like, other people are sleeping. Chill. Just be quiet. Go downstairs and you're fine. Oh, I agree. People who wake you up intentionally, but like passive aggressively are the worst. I'll just do the laundry right outside the bedroom door. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. That doesn't make me hate you. Oh, slamming the door to go to work. Yeah, I, I felt bad sometimes for Emma because if I had a lie in, she would be like, I won't wake you up. And she would like sneak out of bed. She'd be really considerate, but we had Ben. So I was like, Emma, it doesn't matter because the second you leave the house, if she has to go to the farm early or something, that dog is going to go fucking ballistic because you're leaving the house without him. I was like, it really doesn't matter. There's nothing that's going to stop that happening. Yeah, like, you can be as sneaky as you want, but as soon as... Hey, we go. Good. Uh, as soon as that moment passes... Ain't no good, dude. <laughs> Cats don't do that. <laughs> Cats don't care if you leave. Cats are like okay with it. They'll be happy when you come back, but they don't really give a fuck if you leave either. I've never known a cat capable of waking up a whole house. I mean, a dog could do that very easily. I mean, that's part of the part of the goodness. Should something be going wrong in the night, is they're on they're on guard duty. What would your cat do to wake you up? Just like cry. I mean, I heard cat. I've heard a lot of cats in the neighborhood crying when they're in heat, and it is the most frustrating fucking noise in the world. <coughs> Apparently, that's attractive to other cats. It's like dating someone from Essex. It's insane.
<laughs> Watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> Careful now, don't go all Essex on me, man. <laughs> so true. <laughs> That's right, I'm back. It's only been a couple of hours, but who's fucking kicking ass now? I'm about to die, aren't I? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I pulled both of them. Uh, I need to kill this guy. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm just a little fella. I'm just a little fella. You don't need to be mean. South End. Are you from South End? Fair enough. I've never been down South End. I did meet someone from South End once. Those sunglasses were definitely not to block the sun. They were part of an image. A culture. A culture I couldn't possibly understand. Yeah. Sunglasses indoors. A statement I can never understand. Google! Good afternoon, my friend. Good afternoon, Google. Good afternoon, brother. You get a cat if you want to be dominated. That took a turn. That took a turn. <laughs> Something you want to share with the class? Something you want to share with the class? <laughs> what do you change logo color for the new year? New designs for uh, Return to the Studio. Self-reported chat, best chat. Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. I can't believe this. I'm finally here to kill the things that have been murdering me, and all I can find is the ones I needed for the quest earlier. I think I need to go deeper in. We have a new tabard. I have made the tabard. It is done. The tabard is created. We are now no longer tabard free. Hey, Big Rob. Jack Burton. You know nobody knows who that is. Weren't they remaking Big Trouble in Little China? Because you know what old Jack Burton says. Don't remake quality films because you'll make them shitter. Got one. Don't snack it off me. Don't do it. Oh, motherfucker. Shit. Uh, okay. I'm going to risk it. My ultimate DPS will prevail. Oh, it might do as well. No. Nice. God bless fear. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are re remaking Big Trouble in Little China. I think I read that recently, that it is on its way. I think they are. Yeah, I'm not memeing. No memers there. I, it just won't be as good. And that makes me so sad. It's like a Doom project before it starts. The Rock was going to be near. I think The Rock's going to be busy for a little while. Because he was also supposed to be doing a live-action Moana, but I think uh, the government just making Moana 2 instead. <laughs> They were going to live action our boy Mo uh, our Moana. <laughs> I'm not a violent man. Yeah, The Rock's value has definitely dropped in the movie world. Maybe he just ran out of jungles. Too far away. 
Although I think they're making another Jumanji movie. What the fuck happened to Karen Gillan? I haven't seen her in years. She did Jumanji. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ, if this was hardcore, I'd have literally shit my pants then. Yeah, she's done Guardians. Well, has she done anything else? Okay, this one was on me. Okay, I didn't... Uh, okay, that's three now. All right, game, you're taking the piss. That's four. Yeah, absolutely, Terrace Fall. I'm getting level 60 in hardcore. I can do it. I can do it. I believe in myself. I've got a high degree of confidence. All right, I've got a range pull. We go safer. Nope, I am not the next time we do hardcore, you guys have no say in how I play, and I don't give a fuck if Chris puts up there, take your pants off and take a piss for two subscriptions. Absolutely fucking not. You are having nothing. No involvement at all. Quite literally, you have no power here. You realize how much shit I got for that? Because I'm clicking in that clip. Fuckers. My best friends, they pull my wagon through the dudes of sand. <gasps> Can you please reset? Fuck this, I've had enough. I'm risking the blood rage. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. You have no power here. Yes, exactly. God, no. thank you so much, Turtle, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. No, we don't do hardcore in a PvP realm. We can't risk the jerk factor. Alright, I only need two more. We're good. No, you're not picking my class and race. No. This isn't like a fuck, a fuck you preach situation. What the hell are you talking about? The expectation that you would be able to decide that. I hate to even think what you would pick. It'd be something terrible. In fact, why wouldn't you pick Warrior? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. This area is nightmare fuel, man. Oh, get lost. Are you for real? Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Troll priest? I already did that once. It was horrible. It was horrible. Priest is easier than warrior. Unquestionably. No, I was a... I was a troll priest. Oh, vanilla. Horrible. That was a lot of money spent on deviant fish, let me tell you. A lot. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Last one, and I could get out of this nightmare. Uh, is it okay if I have fun playing games? Is that alright? That's fine, right? 
No fun allowed. Interesting. Good to know where your head's at, guys. Good to know. Good to know. What the fuck is this that's popped up? Oh, 35. Plague Spreaders. Level 30 quest. <laughs> Thank you, Atsri. <laughs> You're on time to ours. Uh, no, I don't know when the war within Alpha is. But it's supposed to be like any day. I think they probably want to wait till 10.26 is out and done before they go into the Alpha. But it's, it's soon. Very soon. I am curious. I imagine the alpha will be mainly focused on the hero talents and keeping a lot of the main story under wraps. I mean, if they run it like Dragonflight, where they just do one zone a week or one zone a month or something like that, then we'll see. The alpha is scheduled for any time now. They left themselves kind of an open window on it. Yeah, war bands, shit like that. No, what's the new power infusion hero talent? No, I didn't see that. I've got to wait till they see what they release rather than the pre release info. They're bringing back Frostfire Bolts? Cool. It was such a great spell. The way they tried to implement it in WAD, though, was giga cringe. I'm 99% sure it was my video that got that spell removed because it was fucking horrendous. So bad. Uh, new hero talents reveal. Priest tripling down on power infusion. Premonition replaces power infusion. Divine the future and gain access to a spell that gives you an advantage against your fate. Increase your target's healing received by 25% for 10 seconds. Increase your target's magic damage dealt for 10% for 10 seconds. <laughs> you can power infuse the melee. Yeah. And not just the shitty other ones. 10% uh, damn. One minute CD. Mmm. One minute CD. Hot damn, baby. 10% down. I mean, that feels like it's an arcane mage thing. This ju this just feels to me like it actually reduces the possible targets of power infusion. How often do you think you'll see power infusion solace get used? Does it do all three? Or do you... Is it like uh, summer... You know, like Blessings of Seasons, where you'll have different choices, I wonder. What if it'll cycle through them? It might cycle through them, you know. Yeah, I bet it goes Solace, Insight, Glory. So it, like... I bet it does. I bet it cycles through. It'd be hilarious if it starts with Solace. <laughs> So you can't have power infusion on the opener. That would be fucking hilarious if it starts with solace. <laughs> it's like, okay, this thing is so cringe. <laughs> like, who needs this, like, for the first minute of the fight? Yeah, that would be fucking hilarious <laughs> if you always start with solace. Oh, it's actually not that funny because they then you would have, like, can we do, like, a reset pull so I can press it so it changes to insight for the actual pull? Like, even the prospect of that happening melts my brain. Is like some shenanigans that priests have to start doing so, so they could start with insight or glory. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, it resets the solace after a wipe. So now you, like, keep a trash mob alive or some fucking nonsense. You just wouldn't use the spell, I don't think. Uh, increase the damage absorbed by powered shield by 10% and the healing done. Boring. I fucking hate flat buffs. Uh, powered shield applies one stack of pair of mending to your target. Pair of mending casts a, uh, apply a powered shield to your target. 20% effectiveness. 
Well, it's kind of cool that mending will put little mini shields out on people as it bounces around. Uh, when your powered shield is fully absorbed or your mending heals, gain a stack of grand reveal. 150 stacks gain an additional charge of premonition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it stacks. So does it stack in that you could do two solaces, two insights, two? We need to see how the spell works. Or does it mean you could bank uh, a charge? So you could go solace straight into insight, insight straight into glory. So you could double buff people. So you can put out essentially two PIs. Although this feels less powerful than PI. I keep rubbing my face. I'm tired. Um, hmm. Clairvoyance. Premonition. Oh god, it's back again. Premonition has a low chance to grant you clairvoyance. Grants your target and two nearby allies all the effects of premonition. <laughs> RNG raid DPS. Yeah. Yeah! Sick! Oh, I love it. I fucking love it. Everybody loves that. That's awesome. Uh, reduce the cooldown of Premonition by 10 seconds. Premonition can now trigger the brilliance and urgency effects. Brilliance restore 5% of your target's mana. Urgency increase your target's haste by 12%. What is this fucking casino priest? What is this full casino priest? Just like fucking tossing dice all over the place. Woo! He's going full casino, boys. I love it. We're casino priesting the whole fucking place. Who's this that's texting me? Dear patient. Oh. Whatever. Uh, increase the duration of premonition by... You can... Oh, wow. Premonition's effect is increased by 30% if the divine spell is different than the previous premonition. Pain suppression reduces damage taken by additional 10%. Guardian spirit lasts additional 2. Uh, waste no time. Premonition causes your next power word, Radiance, Heal, or Prayer of Healing to be instant cast and cost 15% less mana. Okay. Uh, reduce the cooldown of power word, Life, by 3 seconds. Allows you to use more targets below 50% health. Okay. Next. Frostfire. Yeah, I like Casino Priest. Just fucking roll the dice, baby. <laughs> roll the dice. Let's see what we get. <laughs> okay. Your damaging fire spells generate a stack of fire mastery and frost spells to generate one stack of frost mastery. Fire mastery increases your haste by 1% and frost mastery increases your mastery by 1% for 12 seconds. Stacking up to 8 times each, adding stacks does not refresh the duration. Okay, so that's to stop me trying to cheese both. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, that, that's to stop you trying to do some sort of fire blast fucking frost nova cone of cold into fucking whatever bullshit. Uh, imbued warning. Fire. Blazing barrier also casts ice barrier at 25% effects of this. This all affects mass barrier. Okay, so a little bit more defensive. Or you can choose meltdown. You melt slightly out of your ice block and ice cold, allowing you to move slowly during ice block and increasing your movement speed over time. Ice block and ice cold trigger a blast wave when they end. Casino Priest looks fun. It'll be fun on farm. Like, Casino Priest will be dope on farm. If it's too powerful, though, fuck, man. People are going to be bitching about Casino Priest all day. <laughs> Moving during Ice Block. Cool. Isothermic Core. Comet Storm now also calls down Meteor. Oh, I like this. I like mixing the uh, schools of magic. I like this a lot. Uh, Meteor also causes Comet Storm. Oh, it makes it stronger. So, Meteor calls down a Comet Storm at 150% effectiveness in your target's location. Excess Frost. Reaching maximum stacks of Frost Mastery also causes your next Phoenix Flames to also cast Ice Nova. Oh, so you do overlap the buffs a little bit for free. When you consume Excess Frost, the cooldown of Meteor is reduced by 5 seconds. And doing it the other way around gives you a flurry uh, over 200% effectiveness. Where you can see back says frost. And oh, that sound. This sounds really fun, honestly. 
Uh, are we not seeing Frostfire Bolt, though? Or is it just back as baseline? Elemental Affinity. The cooldown of Frost Spells is reduced. The cooldown of Fire Spells is reduced. Uh, Cauterize resets the cooldown of your Frost Spells with a baseline shot of four minutes when it activates. That's cool. Frost Fire Infusion. Your Frost and Fire Spells have a chance to trigger an additional Bolt of Frost. Oh, so we are getting Frost Fire Bolt. Sweet. The frost and fire spells have a chance to trigger an additional bolt of frost fire, dealing frost fire damage. This effect generates frost fire mastery when activated. Okay. I wonder if that's going to be like multi strike. So it'll just fire off on its own. I wonder if it's going to be like a multi strike effect where if you you just happen if you pyro it just fires off the frost fire bolt as well. Uh, reaching maximum stacks of fire mastery causes your next fire blast to apply living bomb. A massive living bomb. That's awesome. When this living bomb explodes, reduce the cooldown of Phoenix Flames. Sweet. Reaching massive size of fire mastery causes your next ice lance to apply a living bomb. Nice. Oh, this is cool because it's weaving in all the other spells that you ordinarily would ignore. I really like this a lot. Oh, here's Foss Fireball if you go in the middle tree. Okay, two second cast time. Uh, replaces both Frostbolt and Fireball. Okay. Launches a bolt of frost fire at the enemy, uh, doing both, causing additional frost fire damage. Frost fire bolt generates a stack of both fire mastery and frost mastery. Now, as far as I know, yeah, you can't go. Can you eventually get all these? I can't remember how it's going to work. Yeah, I think you do. I think you eventually get all of them. Like in the initial ones, you work through the tree, and then over the course of the leveling up process, you gain all of them. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is gonna create a really fun spec, actually. This is cool. This is almost like gaining another spec of frost of mage. This is kind of fun. With very little to change to the spells. This is really clever. Very clever by Blizzard, actually. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is, they might, they, this is essentially just bringing in brand new specs to the classes. At least in Mage's case. Uh, yeah, this is a really clever layout. I wonder if Graham worked on this before he left. This is this kind of reeks of Graham. I wonder who did it. Your Frost and Fire spells now have a chance to activate Frostfire Empowerment, causing your next Frostfire Bolt to always crit, explode for 80% of its damage to nearby enemies and be instant cast. This is fantastic. Like, absolutely fantastic. This is really impressive. Who's next? Let's get disappointed. Someone's going to have a dog shit one. I don't think Casino Priest is dog shit. It's just fucking funny. <laughs> uh, this is Keeper of the Grove, the Balanced Restoration. Uh, Force of Nature grants three charges of Dream Burst, causing your next Wrath Starfire to explode on the target, dealing nature damage to nearby enemies. Okay. Damage reduced above five targets. Uh huh. Grove Guardians cause your next targeted heal to create two Dream Petals near the target. Mm, okay. Your Triots cast Moonfire. Mm. Your Force of Nature Triots no longer taunt and deal more damage. Your Grove Guardians increase the healing of your Rejuve by 5% when active. Your Force of Nature Triots have 50% increased HP. You know, Grove Guardians Nourish and Swift Men spells also apply a minor scenario in Ward. Okay. Your know, Force of Nature Triants generate Astral Power. Wow, compared to Mage, this feels like you just got shit on Hardcore. Force of Nature cooldown reduced. Cooldown reduced on Grove Guardians as well. Uh, Harmony of the Grove. Each of your Force of Nature Triants increases damage your spells deal by 3%. Fucking hell. <laughs> Yeah. And Grove Guardians increase your healing by 3% while active. Fucking Snow Fiesta or what? Uh, your re regrowth protects you, reduces... I'm sure this is all very effective, but it's also like fucking hang me. It's so boring. Your regrowth, regrowth protects you, reducing damage you take by 8%. Okay. Wrath and Starfire damage increased by 12%. All right, this, this is cringe, Blizz. This one needs so much work. This is so boring. Orbital Strike applies Stellar Flare for 20 seconds. At least we'll see that. And Primordial Arcanic Pulsar grants Celestial Alignment for two, two additional seconds. 
Maybe Fire Slash got Tree of Life for two additional seconds. So Mage got an entirely new spec, and Druid's got percentage baseline increases. Cool. Every five regrowths you cast makes your next Wrath, Starfire, and Tangling Roots instant. And increase its damage. Alright. So you got a proc. Every five star surges or star falls you cast makes you not regrowth or roots instant. I mean, druids have had this shit for a really long time. With proc regrowths and whatever. It's not new. Uh, casting star surge or star fall increases the damage of your next star surge or star fall by 10%. Jesus Christ. I can't even read the rest of that. Dark Ranger. All right. Black Arrow's back. Woohoo! Fire Black Arrow, causing shadow damage. Each side Black Arrow deals damage. You have a chance to reset so it does what it used to do. Yay! Amazing. Uh, Ranger's Finesse. Aim shot and rapid fire deal more damage. Barb shot deals more damage. Yay! When Black Arrow resets the cooldown of an ability, gain focus. When a target affected by Black Arrow dies, Black Arrow's cooldown is reduced by 12 seconds. Woo! When True Shot or Call of the Wild is active, Black Arrow deals damage faster. More procs, more fun. <laughs> When Black Arrow resets the cooldown of Aim Shot or Barb Shot, a barrage of Dark Arrows strikes your target for damage and increases the damage you and your pet deal by 10% for 6 seconds. <sighs> when you apply Black Arrow... Most of this is just passive, like, that you'll never know exists. After day one, you... I mean, even on day one, you'll forget this exists. For the most part. When you apply Black Arrow to a target, you gain Death Blow or Hunter's Prey effect. Disengage will chain the closest target to the ground, causing it to be 5% slower. Fair enough. All shadow damage you and your pet's deal is increased by 10%. Kill shot has a 15% chance to generate a, shot, a charge of aimed shot or barb shot. Hey, nope. During the alpha, you're covering Hunters and Druids. I'll do mages. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do mages. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Kill shot has a 15% chance to generate a charge of aim shot or barb shot. Brace the shadows. You heal for 15% of all shadow damage dealt by, uh, by you or your pets. Exhilaration grants you three seconds of survival of the fittest. It's fine. Pumps the survivability through the roof. And survival of the fittest activates exhilaration. Look at that. Hunts of survivability. Solved. Easy game, easy life. These are all very useful, but also incredibly dull. When multi-shot hits a target affected by black arrow, a burst of shadow, and another fucking passive proc... Are you never gonna notice unless you've got a damage meter? Holy shit, Liz. Man. Alright, whoever made Mage, he needs to. Or she needs to go What's and make the other man? ones. Because they're bad. They're so bland. They're like the worst of the worst fucking talents. Hey, you. Hey, Willow, how you doing? Big hugs to you, Willow. This mage one is so astonishingly good. I'm really upset we read it first. I'm, like, so upset we read this first. Because this is actually phenomenally good. This is a whole brand new spec with interactions that matter. Different things happening to it. It's so good. Everything here works together to be awesome. Even the passives are fun. Like, Meteor and Comet Storm coming down together, that's going to look awesome. Moving around in my ice block, great. So good. Oh, God, it is drama time. I'm a maniac. 